All right, all right. What's bussin', guys? My name is Johan Tito Hans Hoven, your friendly neighborhood caster from Apex Schools, Ortigas Extension. Kamusta ka, Tito? Ay, wait lang, sorry. May background. Um, ayusin ko muna. Um, wait. Uh, hello, Tito. Kamusta ka na? Uh, ay, first episode na ng podcast, no? I will introduce myself first. I'm Ahmed Ahmed Salim, Ahmed Ilyescas. Your pretty boy host from Apex Schools or Tigas Extension. You can just call me Ahmed because my name, as you're probably thinking right now, would be a mouthful. And welcome to the very first episode of Amplify the Podcast. Tito, musta ka naman? Well, as you can see, I'm doing pretty fine. I don't know. I'm feeling the energy. I'm a bit nervous, but of course, it's it's how things go. We can we can't get that out of our system. What about you? It's normal, Tito. Um, for me, I'm feeling like Eminem. You know, knees weak, arms are heavy. Pero I want to support local. So if that's the case, you can just call me Nips. You know, remember, kids, always support local. Say, Hans, why don't we go ahead and introduce our special guests for the first ever episode? All right. But first, my goodness, it's so surreal. First episode. Anyway, so yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. First episode, we got four guests. Come on, guys. Four. Okay. One, two, three, four. Four guests. Let me introduce uh, the first two. The first one is a former LF of Apex Schools Ortigas Extension. The first, uh, no, sorry. She is a graduate of BS Biology and she garnered the Cum Laude Award in the Polytechnic University of the Philippines. Come on! A DOST scholar for her graduate studies, a research assistant in UP Manila under the Philippine Professional Standards for Public Health, Educators Project, naputol ako doon, and the former science learning facilitator. Please welcome Miss Irish Rabano! Yay! Yeah. All right. Hi, Miss. All right. Hi, good morning, Johan. Good morning, Ahmed. Morning po, Miss. Morning. <laughs> so next is an entrepreneur. She is a trainer in Teletech, an events host, and a former business learning facilitator. Please welcome Miss Joanna Patrice Villanueva. Hi, Miss Pat. Hi, Miss. Hello. Morning. Good morning. <laughs> Hi. You can just call me Pat. <laughs> okay, Miss. Okay, Miss. Noted. And on to the last two guests, of course, but not the least. This time, they're current, current LFs of Apex Schools or Tigas Extension. The first one is the advisor of the official newsletter of Apex Schools or Tigas Extension, Amplify, and a Filipino LF, a graduate of hotel and restaurant management in Pamantasan ng Lungsod ng Marikina, a licensed professional teacher, former business and life loves LF, the go-to tech guy of Ortex. Wow, high tech naman. Let's say hello to Sir Tim Agulto. Hello, sir. Good morning. Hello, guys. Good morning. And last but not the least, he's a current English LF, the co-advisor of Amplifier Tegas Extension, the youngest son among five siblings, a proud Tito. O Tito Hans, Tito rin pala to eh. To two ne- nephews and a niece, a sports enthusiast, and a student of life. Let's give it up for Sir Chris Abelia. Hello, Sir Chris. Morning, Paul. Good morning, everyone. Uh, can I just say, can I just say two things? First is, Johan, that's a well played. That's really well played. Ah, uh, gandang ganti mo sa akin, anak. And uh, second one, last in, uh, for that, the last would be, but para ako yung huli, no? Para kung start tayo ng matitindi yung guest, ang haba nung unang guest, and then business, may entrepreneur, may skilled. Sabal tala ako. Ano ang bag ko? Dal-dal. But yeah, sir, sabi nga nila, no, save the best for last, sir. Save the best for last, sir. Sabi nga nila. So, yun, yun na yung reason namin, sir. Save the best for last. Sige, sige. Bebenta sa akin yan. Sige. Anyway, yeah, kumusta kayo? Yeah, uh, Johan and Ahmed. Okay naman, Hi. sir. Um, first episode, you know, okay naman po. And uh, Tito Han, sige, go ahead. Ay, ako na ba? So, um, I'm, also, I'm also doing well, ano, sir. Medyo shaky, but it's okay naman, sir. Yun lang. So let's actually start this. So again, hello, hello. Thank you for coming to this uh, podcast. Um, I would like to ask, how are you all feeling? Let's start with Miss Irish. How are you feeling, Miss? Hi. I know talaga when I was invited, I was really excited. And all the while, when you were giving your intro, your good morning, si uh, Johan and Ahmed, 
Kasi Johan was may ano eh, previous student and then he's also the class president of grade 10. I was all the while, I was just smiling. Parang nakakamiss, alam niyo yun, to be in the APEC environment and seeing these two handsome hosts no, for today and also the handsome advisors no, and the very beautiful Miss Pat. No? So it's just very exciting and I'm excited how this um, podcast will go. So good luck to all of you, all of us rather. Ayon. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Miss Irish. Miss Pat, how are you feeling today? I'm excited too. <laughs> I'll just copy and paste whatever Irish said and add this. Um, I'm so glad that you've come this far, guys. And before, I'm just looking at you guys in the faculty room or in the hallways because you're not my student before. I was with senior high school. You were in junior high school back then. But... Phil, I'm so glad and so proud of you because I've been hearing stories from your LFs and I'm I'm just really happy that you are um like this and you have pulled up this podcast. So great job, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much, Miss Fat. It's also nice to see both of you, Miss Irish and Miss Fat. What about uh Sir Tim? How are you now, sir? Love the hairstyle, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> anyway, um, I'm fine. Although hindi ako nakatulog kagabi in preparation for this podcast since we are I'm part of the advisors. So yeah. Uh, so we've been cooking this since last summer and right now, ito na siya. <laughs> and we are now here in the podcast. So yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, Sir Tim. Sir Chris, also hindi magpapatalo sa hairstyle, sir. What about you, sir? How are you? Yeah, um, all good. No complaints. Um, I just want to say that when Miss Irish has mentioned na guwapo yung mga host, I mean, hello, saan pa ba magmamana yan, di ba? Siyempre sa parents nila, di ba? I mean, kami, advisor lang naman kami, di ba? I mean, we're just here to support them. Siyempre magmamana yan sa mga kanya-kanya lang parents. But um, I'm just so happy to be reunited actually with um, former colleagues and still friends yan um, reunited with Miss Irish thank you salamat talaga sa kanilang dalawa pati rin kay Miss Pat um, wag po kayong papadeceive kay Miss Pat um, mahilig po talaga magtagalog yan um, she's just sounding konyo cause she is really a konyo though um, let's just pardon her for that anyway Johan um, Ahmed let's just start sige um, wha- what's in store for the day ba? All right. So first off, I would like to say that's so good to hear um, how you guys are doing right now. So we all know what ha- what's happening right now in our current situation. So the first thing I would really like to ask is and uh, know is how are you all during this pandemic? So Miss Irish, are you there? Let's start with you, Miss. Oh, I think it was a very challenging shift no, from the pandemic. Kasi right now, I'm currently in, uh, in academy ulit, nag-aaral ulit ako. I'm currently in my graduate school studies. And syempre, the, like you, no, online class din yung platform. So it's, it's harder for me because I like being around people and I like hearing my uh, professor's lecture, ganyan. So it's, it's kind of a shift for me, but I know how hard it is also for you students. Um, in terms naman, I'm very blessed no, that my family is safe. No, wala namang nagkaroon ng um, COVID no, for the past years, which I'm very grateful and blessed. But yung talagang um, adjustment at the beginning, even until now, I think it's really hard for each and every one of us, especially sa mga nag-aaral and mga nag-work. No? Buti nga ako, I don't, hindi man ako lumalabas. I don't often go out because I stay at home. Siyempre, to protect din the um, mga maliliit na bata dito sa bahay namin. But I can say it's it's challenging. And I think it goes to every uh, one of us din naman. Ayun, siguro. But I'm okay. I'm happy. And I'm happy to be with you right now. Ayun. Alright. Thank you so much, Miss Irish. Ah, you mentioned professor. Miss, are you still teaching, Miss? Or are you a, are you studying, Miss? I'm Is studying, Miss. Okay I'm currently on my graduate study. I'm ano, second year na this year. Ayun. So, balik ka skwela, balik pagiging estudyante, balik paghihirap if, if, you, if you think of that way. Pero it means more learning, di ba? It means more gain for us as ano naman. 
as people. Invest on yourself. Parang gano'n. All right. Thank you so much, Miss Irish. Miss yeah. Pat, how are you during this um pandemic, Miss? Okay. So, <laughs> so last year it started right 2020. Um, at first, everyone is just inside their homes, and then ayon pinayagan tayong lumabas. So that's the time that my previous company contacted me and wants me back to be a trainer. So. Of course, gusto ko yung job before pa. If, um, back, way back in 2016, 2017, I just left the company because I want to really um, work in school or teach. So that's what I did. Pero during this pandemic, it's really challenging because I have to work on site. And I'm really thinking of my family, our safety, and all that. But um, just recently, I, I we don't have this work at home setup. So um, I was tested positive. This is the first time I'm telling this to everyone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was shocked if you're going to ask that, but I have to be honest because this is what's really happening around us. So it was just last month <laughs> um, at around, it started in August and then it continued September. At first, I won't tell, um, I So I was a, um, at first I was a, I'm sorry. <laughs> at first I was um, an identified close contact of one of my family members. That's the reason why I um, went to quarantine for 14 days. And so the process is you have to tell your LGU about that. And then you have to go on quarantine. And I'm not, I, I don't want to accept it, but I have to. But I am working on it, you know. So I just stayed home and all that. Being a good girl that I am, <laughs> I behaved so much. Okay, good behavior, you know. And CH guys, just kidding. So um, that's why happened. <laughs> and then, um, and, um, at around September something, August 31st actually, um, I experienced all the symptoms. You know, they just like what they said. Though it's just a joke. Um, hindi kompleto ang 2021 mo kapag hindi ka nawala ng panlasa. At first, it was just like a joke. But when I felt it, oh my God, I cannot smell the langhap sarap burger yum. You know? <laughs> I hate the feeling. I love Jollibee. Who doesn't, right? So, I was like... Hmm. Yeah, who doesn't? <laughs> right? I was just like looking. So, here's the thing. we have I have to isolate myself, Right? So we have spare rooms, but then some of them are being used because we are, you know, following the protocols. And then I was like, okay, so the spare room is just like our tahian. Isipin nyo, you're just inside the tahian with all of that makina. <laughs> I was like, and then the color of the room and the, the walls of the room is green, avocado green. I was like, okay, I will be here for 40 days looking at this green. Um, <laughs> so like five days had passed and I was like thinking what is the shade of this green is it sage is it avocado really so you don't know what you're thinking anymore so I was like, so oh my god this is what COVID um, is doing to the people so that's when I started thinking ah okay so pag labas ko na lang dapat nakagown ako kasi dami nang tahi, ano dito, iba kaya. So, magagaw na lang ako. I'll be sassy as I can. <laughs> Kasi ganun ako. Pero, depressing actually. Ano, I feel, that's the first time I felt that loneliness and I felt like I'm really alone. I don't want to, I don't want to send messages to anybody. I just want to really isolate myself. So, I'm strong ng personality ko, but, That moment, at that moment, I was like, so, ako, paano yung iba? Alam niyo yun, parang, how are they feeling right now? What if they're just thinking? I mean, mental health is real, and all of that overthinking, those are real. So, paano sila? Okay, sige, hindi na ako mag-overthink, wait lang. Alam mo yun, parang, I am uplifting myself. And then, it's like, um, problems after, after problems, financially, emotionally, physically, all that but then what i learned from that emotionally. Is, yeah emotionally i forgot <laughs> kasi gusto kong ano eh 
alam mo yun, i- <laughs> it push out yung emotions. Pero meron talaga, tapos parang, that's when I realized na seryoso talaga siya. No, I already know that it's serious. You're um, following the safety protocols. But it's not just that. So let's be um, cautious of what of how we behave inside and outside of our houses and all that. It's real and it's been happening. I'm just so blessed and lucky that um, I experienced everything. Lahat as in, yung hirap makahinga and all. Pero I did it. I, I have gone through it. And what I realize is if, if we are just like um, taking care of ourselves, kaya yan. kakayanin yan kasi halos lahat ng kakilala ko okay sila so I'm just really grateful and I'm thankful that I was able to share it for the first time and in podcast so I hope that's fine so that's it thank you Amin and um, Hans <laughs> thank you so much miss kaka-inspire yun miss like uh, parang gusto ko na rin miss magbenta ng sausage miss <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much, Miss Pat. Um, Amit, also, take it away for me. Um, first of all, uh, Miss Pat, thank you for the courage um uh, of sharing that with um all of us. Thank you po. And um, Sir Chris, mukang tama nga yung konyo comment mo, no? And then joke lang yun. Um, and then next, gusto ko pong tanongin is, Sir Tim, musta ka po this pandemic? Uh, okay. Uh, uh, good morning sa lahat. Uh, so yun, this pandemic... Um, I'm really sorry for the background noise. Merong ginagawa ta somewhere sa may likod ng bahay namin. Anyway, um, I remember during the start of the pandemic, uh, well, I heard a lot of tweets or tweets or uh, Facebook posts na they're saying that this is this is the part where the introverts uh, will be will be staying the same. Well, but uh, for introverts, kasi staying at home, doing things at home, enjoying things at home is just basically the normal thing for us. So there. But uh, what's different that time or during the start of the pandemic is there's always this nagging thought that we cannot go outside. Although for us, it's 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 fine to stay at home. But then, uh, yun nga, there's always this nagging thought that, na, hey, you cannot go outside, you can go to the mall, there's no mall, sarado ang mga mall, sarado ang mga... Uh, yung mga arcade or whatever. So yun, it's, um, mahirap siyang isipin na kahit gusto mo siyang, gusto mong lumabas, kahit sabihin mong introvert ka, uh, kahit sabihin mong introvert ka, parang andun pa rin yung anxiety na hindi ka makalabas, tapos hindi mo pwedeng gawin yung mga usual routines mo, like going to the malls, uh, uh, going to the groceries. But then again, knowing us Filipinos na we are good in adjusting and in whatever situation we are in we can also adapt so and right now ito na tayo parang we are we, we have already accepted the new normal uh, the normal where there's a virus out there and we are uh, we're doing things way different previously so and that that's from although for me honestly and personally uh, i kind of like this kind of setup Uh, I can... Alam mo, papasok ka sa trabaho. Um, gising ka lang ng six, tapos do some workouts, tapos siguro huwes ng pinggan. Tapos harap ka sa computer mo. Andun ka na. Hindi mo lang kailangan magbiyahe. Even for you, uh, even siguro for some students, hindi mo lang kailangan magbiyahe, hindi mo lang kailangan magcommute. Tapos pag, pag tapos ng shift, log out ka lang, tapos huwes mo yung TV, nood ka na Netflix. Parang, uh, for me, honestly, although I'm not in favor of whatever is happening out there. Uh, siguro, siguro yun, uh, nakapag-adjust na rin lahat. Ha? That's what I can say. Uh, thank you, Sir Tim. No? Tama po yun. Uh, lahat tayo, iba-iba, kahit po introvert ka man, extrovert. Um, in this pandemic po, I think we are all affected naman. It's just in all different um, in all different ways and I guess you could say intensity po. No? Tama po yun na uh, yung convenience, yung, yung pong pag-convenient ng... Uh, day-to-day school um, life mo, yung hindi mo kailangan ganun kaaga gumising, the commute, uh, tama po yung lahat, no? And I guess that um, even though not all of us have fully adjusted to this situation yet, um, we have all found a way to at least cope with it. Next, Sir Chris, I would like to ask you po, how are you this pandemic, sir? 
sa so, yeah as I have said earlier I'm all good no complaints um just like um Miss Pat nyo nyo um been challenged shout out to Pat emotionally um been challenged financially with the family rin um two members of the family got hospitalized I mean a lot of things happened but what I would really be able to relate with Miss Irish is Uh, just like her, I'm also pursuing graduate studies then. So, um, yeah, I would agree with her then uh, when she said it na um, balik paghihirap. Kasi mas mahirap siya ngayon kasi ikaw nagpa-fund ng studies mo. Yeah, and also, um, medj na iinggit with Sir Tim kasi she mentioned earlier workout. Kaya pala yung biceps niya, protruding pa rin. It's so effortless. And when you see him, teka lang, tingnan ko lang yung angulo ng camera niya. No? So, hindi pa yan kita hanggang uh, dibdib niya, pero kita niyo yung torso niya. Like, grab yung pecs niya, guys. And wag niyo siyang hihintayin lumikod, guys. Wag niyo siyang hihintayin tumalikod because bukod sa mas gwapo sa pag nakatalikod, mas kita yung shoulder blades niya, guys. It's so effortless. And I'm so naiinggit. But, you know, inget in a good way because that man, I love him so much. I love you, Sir Tim. I mean, um, I'm so blessed and so privileged for us to launch this. By the way, um, I, that's the reason why I keep on looking on my right side because I'm enjoying 11 people watching us right now. Thank you for the 11 people watching us right now. Sobrang laking support niyo, Huyan. Ahmed and Johan. Um, first of all, Sir Chris, thank you po for sharing that. No? Um, pareho po pala kay ni um, Miss Irish na nag-aaral po ulit. Yung nga po, yun nga lang yung problema. Salun niyo na yung, yung tuition niyo, pag-aaral niyo. Pero Sir, uh, Sir Chris, alam pa namang mayaman ka, so hindi naman problema sa iyan. Um, and then next, Hans, um, we will, uh, I would like to ask you po. Alam po yun, Sir Chris? Fake news po yun na mayaman ako, hindi uh, ko totoo yun. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Um, next up, I would like to ask um, all of you po, uh, how did you end up as a teacher po? And then I would like to ask um, Miss Irish first po. Kasi way back in college, no, whenever I would do reporting, the common comment that my teachers would give me is that, ayaw mo bang mag-teacher? hindi mo ba consider na mag academe So, there were several um, comments na ganun whenever I would do reporting in my class. And then, at the same time, no, reporting or communicating with um, sharing no, yung mga ideas and concepts is something that I enjoy. So, I carefully thought about it. So, sabi ko, gusto ko bang magturo? Is this the path where I want to go to? Kasi when you, when you uh, pag graduate ka, lumabas ka ng university, it would be a really different, um, iba na yung experience mo, lalong-lalo na kung ano yung first job na kukunin mo. So I really put great thought into it and I realized na ito talaga yung gusto kong gawin. Lalong-lalo na my favorite part kasi of teaching is when there's an unclear concept, tapos biglang yung mga student, may kita mo sa mata nila yung aha moment, yung parang, Niliwanag yung mata nila. Tapos parang, ah, yon And it feels so great. no Even with my classmates, when I'm reporting, tapos biglang ganun. And then, at the end of the class, they would tell me, no, oh, ah, naintindihan namin yung concept because of you, ganyan. I felt like it was somehow my purpose and it's something that I enjoy. no Though sabi nila dati, wala naman pera sa pagtuturo. Parang ganyan. <laughs> no, though I, I partly agree, no? Kaya dapat we should invest on ourselves more, no? Ayun. So, I tried, so yun, after graduating, I tried, kinakabahan ako kasi, you know naman, my, my background was it really BS education, no? I was a BS biology graduate, no? And, but when I tried to apply at Apex schools, I was so glad that I've been given the opportunity to teach. Kasi what's good with, ano, with Apex is tinitrain nila yung teachers nila. Bago ka nila isa lang dyan, iti-train ka nila on how you would become an effective teacher bago ka ilabas sa field. So, yon I felt more confident, especially with the training with, sir, ano, with different MPs all over the site and with the constant checking of Sir Tony. Ayun. So, do- nung nagturo ako, dun ko na-realize na gusto ko pala talaga to and I enjoy this profession. no 
sana nag-enjoy din yung students ko in my class, no? Because it's my purpose then. Ganun din yung gusto ko while I enjoy teaching them. I hope that they enjoy being in my class then, no? Ayun, but the reason why I I I I stop some ngayon at this moment is because I want to further improve pa. Kasi I want to be more confident as their teacher. Ayoko kasi na tatayo ako sa harapan na pakiramdam ko hindi enough yung alam ko. Ayun. <laughs> Uh, thank you po uh, doon Miss Irish no. Um, so aside po from the initial push and suggestion po nung um teacher niyo noon na uy, pwede ka ba tayo mag-teacher? Uh, once na na-try niyo na po, yun po parang sabi niyo, nagustuhan niyo na po yung yung profession, nagkaroon na po kayo ng love for teaching and uh, sayang lang po talaga na hindi ko po kayo naging uh, teacher noon. Uh, <laughs> yun nga po sayang po talaga. And um next, uh, Miss Pat, I would like to ask you po. Ano to, madrama to. <laughs> Hindi lang halata, pero madrama ako tao. <laughs> so, sobrang dami kong emotions lagi. Laging, ano, parang intense. It's like a hundred or zero. So, here's what happened. So, I was staring at <clears throat> the desktop that time. So, pinagpipilihan ko school, UP, PUP. Pero, dahil gusto ko yung drama club, ng high school, mga ganyan-ganyan. Puro ka-artehan. Di kaya FA, mga ganyan kasi, di ba? Matangkad ako. Sabi ko, sige, yun na lang. Ganyan-ganyan. Tapos, <laughs> ano, um, it's like eyewitness or something like documentaries from GMA7 was playing <laughs> sa TV. Tapos, bigla ko nakita yung mga kids na ano, um, unfortunate kids na kailangan tumawid ng ilog. Yung, eto totoo to ha. Tumatawid sila ng ilog just to go to school. Ganyan. Sabi ko, ay magsiteacher ka lang ako. Kawawa naman sila. Kala mo naman makakapunta ako dun, di ba? Agad-agad. Tapos parang, oh, hindi, hindi kawawa talaga sila. So, ayun. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> sa UP, ang first choice ko is agree. Tapos accounting. Sabi ko, accounting para kahit magtuturo ako may pera ako. Alam mo yung sobrang baba ka ng mentality mo dati na 16 years old ka na may meaning ng course. And then sa PUP naman, yun na. Um, it's funny kasi it's business teacher education. Kasi hindi ko alam na pag BS Biology, BS English, pwede palang magturo. I don't know that thing before. I was like looking for the teacher or education in the title of, <laughs> of the course. Yun lang yung nakita ko yung Bachelor in Business Teacher Education. So, ah, baka ito na yun. Tapos saka ako pipili ng major ko pagka third year na ako. I really don't know. I don't have any idea. <laughs> so, go. <laughs> Tapos yun, when I passed hmm, both schools, parang kaya siya agriculture because kasi sa UPLB. So, parang sabi ko, ayaw ko palang pumunta ang UPLB. And that's it. So, sabi ko, nung magtuturo ako, Um, magtu- ma- tutulong ako, tutulong ako. So, that's the time na lagi ako nag-volunteer teaching, ganyan-ganyan. And I enjoyed it. I was shocked na, ay, gusto ko pala talaga to. Just like the realization of Irish. Akala ko, wala lang. Kasi, wala lang. Bida-bida ako. Gusto ko lang tumulong. Ganyan. Pero in reality, iba pala yung feeling. It's more of emotions talaga. Tapos, um, when, just like when I started in APEC. <clears throat> Kasi ba, um, mga three, three years ako sa call center. After graduating, I had to help my family financially. So, sige, ano, call center. Kasi wala may money. <laughs> sige, G. Pero um, when I passed the licensure examination for teachers, challenge ko pa si Lord. Sorry, Lord. <laughs> I'm just gonna share this. Ano, challenge ko pa siya, Lord. Pag di ako na ako, sige, huwag katuro ko buhay ko. Ah. Sige, huwag mo papasa dito. Pag di ako nakapasag, di talaga ako magtuturo. Eh, I passed. I did not, ay, hindi ako nagyayabang, but I did not review at all. Parang sabi ko, if it's for me, it's for me. Kala mo naman talaga, matalino. So, eh, nakapasa ako. So, sabi ni Lord, ala, kailangan ko magturo, pero Lord, wait. <laughs> I need to, I know, to finance muna my, the studies of my sisters, ganyan. So, that's what I did for three years. Tapos nung na, tapos na sila, tapos parang naka, naka-help na ako sa family. Hala, anong gusto ko talagang gawin? That's the reason why <clears throat> gusto ko maging trainer doon. Kasi it's somehow um, training, educating people, ganyan, helping them, supporting them. So, trainer gusto ko. And then, ang tagal ng promotions for three years. That's just what I'm um, um, looking for. Pero ang tagal. So, I again, I went back to my family, helped them with the business. That's why entrepreneur. And then, When I saw APEC, sabi ko, sige nga, try natin. 
I tried several schools. Nakapasa ako sa lahat, but I chose ATEC. And I'm so happy na may training for LFs. So, sabi ko, okay, let's do this. And it's fun. It's not just all about learning, but it's also fun. And <clears throat> I like the curriculum of ATEC, for real. If I'm going back to teaching, maybe I'll consider ATEC again. <laughs> Kasi, I swear, ang ganda ng curriculum nyo, guys. So, that's it. That's how um, I chose um, EDUC and not only that, hanggang ngayon, dahil lang nasa training department, that's the reason why I went back to um, Teletech or call center. So that's it. <laughs> Thank you po, Ms. Pat. Uh, so yun nga po, nagsimula po yung um, love nyo po sa teaching nung medyo bata-bata po kayo, sabi nyo, nakakita po kayo ng mga bata na hirap pumasok po, no? Para, parang yung mga kwento ng nakatatanda na kailangan pa nilang umakit na sampung bundok nung tumawid na sa pong ilog bago makarating ng eskwelahan. And uh, yung po sabi niya na parang medyo uh, mas salo, mababaw pa yung pagkakaintindi ng, sa courses natin sa college and whatnot. Nakaka-relate din po ako doon. And uh, yun nga po, na-relate niyo rin kay Miss Irish na, Uy, gusto ko pala magturo. Okay pala to. I love this profession pala. And thank you po ulit, Miss Pat. Sayang lang din po na hindi ko po kayo naging LF. Um, back to you, Tito. All right, thank you, Pamangkin. Now it's my turn naman to ask. But before we go there, I'd like to um thank the 14 people here already in watching the Zoom. And I would I, I just can't keep this to myself. Miss Irish, it's up to you to guess who it is, Miss. Somebody commented, Irish, lusog ang pisngi. <laughs> no, yan. Grade 9 yan. Yes, it's just a bad angel. Who is that? It's just a bad angle of the camera, guys. Don't get deceived. I'll post a selfie later. <laughs> so, yung madalas nang bubuli sa'yo sa faculty. <laughs> hey, bro! Hey, <laughs> Brile! Brile is my number one basher. Pero miss ko na si Brile. Hi, Brile. Hindi matatalo ng pisngi ni Brile yung pisngi ko. Huwag kayo mag-alala. <laughs> Alright. Um, so... Thank you, um, Luke, Rafael Manahan, Patricia Angeline, Sir Tony, uh, Jerica Macy, and Aspecto Lord Francis. Thank you so much for um, coming to the podcast. Now, let's start the one with Sir Chris with a um, beautiful uh, haircut. Talaga, di ako move on. Sir, what about you, sir? How did you end up uh, being a teacher? Johan, magandaan din mala ng haircut. Hands down ako sa'yo. I mean... Bembol. Ay, sorry. Um, Ay. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know what? Before I answer that question, um, can, I, can, can we give an award to Miss Patrice Nino? Ano ba pwede dyan? Like, a Nobel Peace Prize for charity, congeniality? Ano ba? May mga ganun. Does, does that thing exist? But anyway, uh, to answer the question, ano, um, sabi nga ni Pat, madrama, so, papatalo ba tayo? <laughs> um, I'm not a good uh student all right but when i was in college uh, i was pursuing a different uh, program before i spent two and a half years on a business related course kalma matter ko yung mother ni a. Ahmed so Ahmed let's just shut our mouths kung saan ako nang galing all right um yeah i've been spending two and a half years of my life there on the last two semesters i failed one subject twice. So, regular semester and then took it for summer, then bumagsak, blah, blah, blah. So, cutting short, either kick out or lipat ng college. Hello po, Miss J. Thank you po sa support. Um, in, I, I was already in that school eh, and um, it's not a good university for some, but for me, I like the experience there. UAAP school ba naman eh? Yun nga yun eh. Parang I think I, that would be my reason why I've been spending two and a half years of my life there nang hindi ko alam yung purpose ko because focused ako sa UAAP. Kumbaga yung mga classmates ko na athlete nun, nakaka-stress sila. Samantala ako yung mga grades ko, stress din. <laughs> so doon lang ako nakaka-relate sa kanila. <laughs> so alam mo yun. And then, um, yun, again, going back, either kick out or lipat ng college or institute. And then, um, I was torn. So I had I I sec, uh, I sought counsel, and then one of the guidance counselors told me, and then they have assessed my grade. 
Ah, uh, marami may hindi maniniwala dito, no. Pero maganda-ganda naman po grade ko sa English noon. Alam ko marami pong hindi maniniwala, pero siguro nanay ko na lang maniniwala sa akin. Um, yun, they were suggesting, sige, try mo mag-English course. I was thinking, ah, sige, this specific course. I don't wanna say na lang, kos baka makancel tayo, lalabas to sa YouTube, mamaya, inamalit ko yung course na yun. Hindi naman, but I, again, I don't wanna say that course. And then, um, nung sinabi ko yun, sabi nung guidance counselor sa akin, if you would choose this, Um, at that time, medyo mahina. At that time, ah, I don't know now. At that time, medyo mahina yung career opportunity uh, once I graduate. So, kumbaga, the guidance counselor was um, assisting me in terms of my future. I have to look for my future, not just on the moment. Then, sabi niya, why don't you just pursue teaching? Kasi ganun din naman yan eh. Kung mahirapan ka maghanap ng trabaho with that degree, chances are, magtuturo ka rin, but you cannot teach and you cannot be licensed unless you have um, 18 units of professional education, stuff like that. So, ba't di mo nalang diretsuhin? Patawarin po ako ng akadim, patawarin po ako ng mga kapwa ako teachers. Pikit mata. <laughs> Seryoso, ha? pikit mata, gumigilid luha. Sige na lang po. Di sige. <laughs> so, ay, sige. <laughs> Napilitan, ganun ganyan. But when I was already in that institution, um, that degree program, I felt so welcome. I felt so belong. I felt the sense of belongingness. I felt the feeling of belongingness in such a way that hindi ko to naranasa when I was in high school and college. In high school, I was just a nobody. Marami tayong students here in Apex Schools or Tigas Extension. Kaalma matter ko when I was in high school. All right? But... I was nobody but right there. But when I was here in this institution, in um, Institute of Education, grabe yung, um, nakita ko dun yung skills ko. And then after a year, I became a scholar. Again, maraming hindi maniniwala, but ask my dad, malaking bagay yun for him because he was funding my studies doon. Naging scholar, hanggang sa tinuloy-tuloy ko na, I might not be able to garner Latin honors just like Miss Irish here, but, I can proud I I can proudly and honestly brag that I was among those students that your professors would remember and panghihinangay panghihinangayan if you didn't pursue your course. All right. So, yun, that's my story. Um again, this is not my first choice, but kung pwede kong bawiin yung sinabi ko kanina, babawiin ko with this. Hindi ko mahal nung una but I learned to love what I'm doing right now. And hindi, hindi ko pagpapalag what I'm doing right now. Um, yeah, I, I might be challenged financially, but I can honestly say to myself that no amount of money can equate, can substitute what I'm experiencing right now. I believe Sir Tony would agree with me na wala man akong yaman, but ang yaman ko is these two hosts that we have right now. They're pursuing what we have envisioned for them without us telling them what you should do, what you should do, pursue. They just be with, they just join us here in this pursuit. And thank you, thank you. And also thank you for Odli Miguel Gamayon, the third. Shout out to you, man. Thank you so much, sir. Alam niyo guys, advisor ko yun last year, kaya nakaka-inspire yan. Uh, so parang I Amen. see uh, like a pattern. Amen. Yes, sino advice mo nung grade 7 at grade 8 ka? Aba, sino pa ba sa eh? Hindi ikaw. <laughs> nung grade 8 ka, sino advisor mo? Ah, uh, <laughs> Miss Johnny Purple. Uh, sino, live labs, LF mo na lang. Yun na lang. Eh, this is yung buff, sir. Sino pa ba bang, ano dito, buff dito sa meeting? This is Sir Tim. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yun nga, yung nakikita kong a pattern is that it's not like a first choice somehow. Or if it was, it um not really into it until you tried it out and then you loved it, loved the love the experience and generally love how it's actually supposed to be. Sir Tim, what about you the one sir? How did you end up uh, being a teacher? Actually, um 
ako yung pinakamatanda sa, sa, sa grupo ng mga ano, ng guest niya. <laughs> considering, <laughs> considering, sa'yo na ang galing yan. Considering what I have been through after I graduated, yun nga, HRM. Tapos, my first job was, I was an open man. I was an open man for, I, hindi ko na babanggating kung anong tindahan ng pizza yun. Uh, I was an open man for about one and a half month. And then one thing I realized during that time, so yun, while habang habang nagano, habang nag, nag nagsasalang ako ng mga ng, ng mga pizza nang sa oven. And then meron nung ano, meron nung sale sa isang mall. Hindi pa ako magdiin ng pangalan. <laughs> sobrang sobrang parang naka autopilot na ako nun, while I'm doing the cutting, while while turning the pizza. And then I realized that this is not the job that I want. Uh, I parang sinabi ko sa sarili ko, I want to get out of this. Although they are offering me, since I am a uh, four-year graduate of HRF, they are offering me a managerial position. I want something or I want a job that will make me think, will make me, yung gumagana yung mga brain cells ko. So yun. And then, <laughs> parang, parang malayo yung susunod na trabaho ko dyan. So naging, ano ako, naging uh, book specialist ng isang bookstore. So for six more than six years, and then and end up being, being end up end up being uh, end up being a, a senior officer uh, in that bookstore. What I love about that uh, that job is I am with tons of book. Every time that there was a delivery, parang it's like a wonderland for me since I really love reading books. So yon. Tapos. And then also there's always uh, a time during uh, let's say uh, there's may mga, mga bagong deliveries may briefing may briefing so every day there's uh, there's a staff that is assigned to share something about a book about a story of a book let's say a uh, short synopsis of a book or it can be a self help so yun, during those times um, like miss irish ko din yung madalas na inaalay ng mga ka, mga kagrupo ko pag may reporting. Ko na certain ko niyan, ko niyan team. Sige na, kain mo niyan. Hindi ako na mas sige, oh, sige okay lang ako. Babait ako noon eh. Babait ako noon college ako. <laughs> Hindi na ba yan, joke lang. Ayun. Um, so yun. And also like this Irish din na mahilig ako mag-share ng mga stories. Every briefing, every briefing during nung ano nga, nung nasa bookstore ako. Para silang, para lumiliwanag yung mga mata nila pag nagkakwento ko ng mga stories sa mga libro. O oh, sir, ano nang nangyari? Hindi na, tapos na yung briefing natin, saka na lang, saka ako nila itutuloy. So then I started to realize na I love sharing ideas. Yun nga, sharing stories, lalo na. Alam ng mga estudyante ko yan, even, lalo na, at my advice to ko. When I say, oh, story time, nalalaki yan ng mata nila. Tapos parang humihinto na sila whatever that they are doing that time. Oh, guys, story time. Tapos, Lalo na pag during MCH and during those uh, mga serious moments sa advisory, yeah, no, sorry time. Ayun, anyway, after na after nung ano, after nung sa bookstore, ayun, I can say that that was my downtime after the full uh, nung, nung bookstore. Loss of job, then loss of someone, and then I was depressed. I was depressed during that time. Try to imagine I I enrolled uh, I I took up boy uh, ayun nga I took up CP uh, CPE units sa Marikina uh, Polytechnic there. Para kung pag, pag nasa class ako that time, para ako nakatulala lang kasi so sobrang depressed ako noon. Tapos eventually with uh, with my uh, network of support, naka ano ako nakabangon ako. And then uh, one thing also uh, before that kasi nag Pasado na ako sa civil service. So one thing I realized, it's hard to get into government. If you don't know anyone in the system, it's hard. It's almost impossible. Yung, yung resume mo, they might, might as well use it as, as a scratch paper. Yeah. Ayun. Anyway, ito na, no? The, after, I, after yung CPU units, and then I applied in public, tapos, and then to realize na uh, my points was not enough. I don't have NC2. So, I, sige, NC2. Cookery. Nakakuha ko ng NC2 in cookery. Since, uh, aligned yun sa, as a course ko ng HRM. And then, here comes APEC. And then, here comes my my bosses. Miss M, Miss J. 
Sir Tony. Uh, um, com- comparing the work atmosphere or yung 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 work, uh, yung 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 trabaho comparing it to, to my previous job, na lagi akong binubuli, laging yung mga seniors ko ay laging mga bully ganyan. Pero here, uh, one word that I can describe my bosses, yung appreciation and the motivation. Ayun. Tapos, naging teacher na ako. And, sige, let me, let me share something sa first day ko. As, uh, yung parang talagang ano siya eh, talagang wala akong alam sa pagtuturo. And then, APEC gave me the, the things that I need, the techniques, the strategy. First time ko humarap sa klase, uh, sobrang ito pala yung ito pala yung pagiging teacher that you're handling 45 students ano no, no, not 45 kasi 8 a.m. to yun eh. nalala ko si na Luigi sa si na Joel uh, around 35 students napakahirap ah, tapos para bang after nung after nung first week ko parang ayoko na at <laughs> parang hindi ko gusto yun. parang hindi ito yung ano yun. parang hindi yung traba parang ano parang sa pagtuturo I'm thinking magano yung mag, na, na, yun nga nag-iisip ako ganyan tapos parang ang hirap ko ako and then I, I had this conversation with ano with Sir Tony yeah. it's okay Tim whatever you heard from your students that time that's fine um, and then once one thing that made me comfortable with teaching is once I established the emotional connection with my students um, you, this is the time where um, yung naging com- yun nga comfortable ka na sa kanila tapos they are starting to open up and then you are hearing stories and then um, hearing stories I have yun nag ako mga stories kasi since I really like sharing stories or ideas ayun hanggang sa ngayon uh, nagtuturo pa rin ako uh, ano, in APEC and then I have uh, learned so much from my ano, from Ms. M J yeah, so for nudge to take banner for books. So Ms. J, shout out to you po. Thank you so much. Nakakainis. Nakaka- that's it for me, Hans and Amin. Thank you so much. Yeah. I feel to him, sir, actually. So yun nga, sir. And as well as Miss Irish, Miss Pat, and Sir Chris, yung nakikita ko, parang um, teaching talaga wasn't like the first, like the uh, first job that came into mind. And then until you guys tried it out, there are parts, there are some of you who said that it's not it's you think you thought it wasn't for you but as uh time goes on you actually loved what you were doing so nakaka heart nakaka touch ng heart naman yun <laughs> and then yun Ahmed, is there anything you would like to add to that um yes actually you know uh adding to you the pattern that you have noticed no para siyang ano eh it's not with the actual profession in name that you fall in love with it's the experience that comes along with it you know yung kasi nga diba once you tried it ay gusto ko pala to kasi nga by kasi pag titingnan mo on paper if you look at teaching um on paper it's just educating it's just um teaching this teaching that to students but what you don't know is the actual experience the day to day experience that comes with it no tito hands so sa tingin ko din sa uh, um sa pattern na yun yun kasama rin yun it's the experience na talagang doon sila nag fall in love with you know sa teaching that's all tito yeah, that's exactly what's also in my mind, Pamangkin. So anyway, let's go to the next question. Um, I w- we would actually like to know, let's uh, go back, rewind the clock. Can you tell us how you were as a, as a high school student and a college student? <laughs> okay, I can see a lot of people. I can see there are people laughing, covering their mouths. I, okay, now I really want to know. Let's start with Miss Irish. How were you as a high school student and then a college student? Buti na lang, di ako una. <laughs> Kaya nga, medyo nakaka-pressure ako yung una. <laughs> okay, so high school student, ano kasi ako eh, very studious, very grade conscious ako kasi yung upbringing ko was that. Nung bata kasi ako, my mom would always tell me na galingan mo mag-aral kasi yung medals mo ipunin natin kasi ibebenta natin. Kasi yung upbringing ko kasi when I was kasi ano lang kami parang 
middle, uh, parang mahirap lang kami dati. So, sobrang ginalingan ko sa pag-aaral talaga. Kailangan ko makuha itong mga medal na to kasi magiging pera to. Yun yung sabi sa akin ng nanay ko. No? So, I really tried my best to do well in studying because I felt like it was something that I needed to do in order for me to contribute to the family. No? So, as a child, ganun yung mindset ko. And when I was growing up, I was really competitive no and i really had that ano na parang kailangan magaling ako sa school no so i i was able to bring that until high school so sobrang grade conscious ko so i would be one of those students na laging nagre-review na nag-aaral pero hindi naman ako KJ ako yung kasali sa mga gulo pero hindi malalaman ng teacher na kasali ako doon parang ganoon <laughs> so kapag may mga kulitan mga asaran ganyan kasali oo yung ganyan tsaka pag may magulo. Pag nandiyan na yung teacher, behave na ako, ganyan. Pero di nila alam, isa ako sa mga nakatapon, nakasira na ganyan. Oo, ganyan. <laughs> kumbaga, ano lang, kumbaga, I always try my best to have that good image kumbaga sa mga sa mga teachers. Kaya alam ko yan, pag sa mga students ko din, yung, yung mga pag nasa klase, or studios, studios, ganyan. Pero may mga ano din yan, may mga halong gulo. So I was like that. No, sa high school magulo I was I belong to the fun but pag yang aral-aral talaga no never ko na try mag-cut ng class never ko na try na may hindi ako na pasang requirement can you, can you imagine how grade conscious I was so medyo ang ano ko lang doon baka medyo naiinggit nga ako sa iba kasi mas gusto ko sana maging carefree kumpara sana nagbulakbol din ako na onte para experience ganun <laughs> Pero ayun, nung, nung nag-college ako, siyempre ganun pa din, sobrang competitive ko. Kasi feeling ko talaga, ang baon ko nun, education is what will bring me closer to my dreams and to the dreams of my family. So kailangan kong galingan mag-aral. So yun yung drive ko talaga. And also, it felt good whenever my teachers would comment me na maganda daw yung output, ganyan. So dun ako, natu- yun yung fuel ko eh. So ano ako, sobrang grade conscious if you would think about it saka i always want to finish my task hindi ako masya pero kapag ano after class naman ayan baklaan kami ganyan kanalan mga ganyan. you know the term yung mga ganyan kaya to ako ako yung taga tawa din sila yung taga taga ano ako yung taga contribute sa tawa so medyo OT lang yung ambag ko pag nagkukulitan pero at least may tumatawa naman sa joke nila kahit medyo hindi nakakatawa tinatawanan ko yon di ba ayon siguro <laughs> Kaya gusto ko sana, siguro si Miss Pat marami itong baon na ano eh, na nakakulitan nung nag-aaral. Pati si Sir Chris, sigurado. Ayan, siguro gano'n. Bubay ako, bubay ako. Catholics ko lang ako gumagod. Bubay! bubay. <laughs> Balita ko dyan daw medyo magulo eh. <laughs> Hindi ba? Ayun. Mamaya na pag-turn ko, mamaya na pag-turn ko na lang. <laughs> oh, sige, sige. Oh my. Right, thank you, Miss Irish. Uh-oh. Actually, nakaka-relate rin ako doon, Miss, sa uh, yung part na uh, <laughs> great conscious, pero um, may, uh, may something rin. <laughs> Ganun talaga rin ako, Miss. Uh, oh, that's true it... naman. And I know that part naman yun, even if grade conscious ka, you want to do good in school, normal yun if you want to have a little fun, gusto mong mag-lay back ng konti sa pag-aaral, ganyan, yun. Yan, yes. Thank you so much, Miss Irish. Mm-hmm. Yung I really want to know right now is, Miss Pat, how are you as a high school student as well as a college student, Miss? Ayun Mada- lang ah. <laughs> <laughs> Ingin tayo ng mic, makinig tayo. Makinig tayo. Maganda yan. Oh my God. Kasi, unlike Irish, <laughs> ayaw, hindi ako grade conscious, pero lagi akong pasado. Kaya mayabang ako before. <laughs> Sobrang yabang ko talaga as in. Kasi since elementary, alam mo yung pag narinig mo yung motor ng tatay mo, tatakbo ka sa loob, pupunta ka sa study table, lalabas mo lahat ng books mo kasi magpapretend kang nag-aaral. Ganun ako katakot sa tatay ko. Nakakaanong mag-share shocks. Ang dami kasi manunod sa YouTube eh. Tapos, ay, alam mo yan, babalikan nyo kasi. Yung patito, sana po nakikinig kayo. <laughs> so, ang peke ko talaga noon, magpapretend lang ako, tapos bawal ako matulog hanggang hindi ko kabisado yung multiplication table tsaka yung memory verse because I was with... um a Christian school before. 
So, <laughs> kailangan kabisado ko yung Proverbs 3.16, mga ganyan. So, wala akong choice. Kakabisado yun ko talaga siya. Tapos, bawal ka matulog hanggat hindi mo kabisado yun. Yung memory verse of the day. May ganun kasi sa school now before. So, ayun, mabait ako nung LM. That time, naalala ko grade 5, yung skirt mo, parang, yung matigas siya, nilalagay sa, I forgot the term it. Certain pag naalala mo, ano mo sa akin. Para hindi siya agad madumihan, nilalagay din siya sa bed sheets, saka hindi siya agad-agad magugusot. So, kapag Almirol? Yung... Oo, oh, oh, ayata, Almirol ata yun. Tama. Thank you, Sir Chris. <laughs> Tapos, oh, ano, ako ngayon ang konyo. Ako ngayon ang konyo. Oo, oh, oh, yun. Oo, oh, oh, yun. Exactly. So, ano, pa, kasi pag yung skirt mo, nilagyan mo nun, hindi siya madudumihan agad. However, ano din siya sobrang tigas. So pag umuupo ako, syempre yung bag mo yung parang pas ano yun, yung parang pa stroller. Ta- yung may ano, syempre LM kaya dami mong books. Mayaman. <laughs> Hindi. Ako ako ngayon ang konyo. Ako ngayon ang konyo. Wala akong ganung bag ever. <laughs> so my stroller oh okay, ganyan. Tapos pag bukas ko, pag um kukunin ko yung books ko, yung skirt ko ganun pa rin yung itsura. Sa so, sobrang tigas. As in yung parang hindi siya, hindi siya flowy. So, nabully ako. Sabi, ah, pa, ang skirt mo, baba. Hindi pong tumatayo yung palda mo, no? Pag, pag binitawan mo. <laughs> exactly. Hindi sa tili siyang buhay. Ganun talaga. As in, nabully ako noon. Tapos, laging, ano, short yung hair ko nung, ano, LM. So, sabi ko, ha, iba ako sa high school. Akala nyo, ha. Ganun, same school. Pero pag punta ko nung first year, ano, high school. Talagang akala mo talaga boss ako. Ang bully ko pa, ang sama ng ugali ko noon. As in, hindi ako proud, pero ang sama ng ugali ko. Pag ayaw ko sa mukha, mukha kang palaka, ganun ako, parang baliw. Alam mo yun, parang ewan, ang sama ng ugali ko. Ako Dati, lang yun, tag- Dati lang yun. Dati lang yun. I came to realize naman. <laughs> As days Dati kasi pass. parang hanggang ngayon eh. <laughs> hindi, grabe ka. Okay, grabe ka. Mas sensitive daw ako ngayon. Pero love you, tita. Love you, tita. Sorry, sorry. Love you. <laughs> Pero masama yung ugali ko nung high school. Sobra. Nung first year, second year. Tapos kapag may nang, naawa, nang away sa friends ko, aawain ko ka agad. Ikaw, bakit may naano siya? Ganun. Yuck! Ang basura, di ba? Ang basura ng ugali. As in, hindi ako proud doon. Pero mahal Miss na mahal Maldita. ko yung... Miss Maldita. Oo, Miss Maldita 22. Ganyan. Yung mga ano, prinsesa mo malupet. Ganyan. Judgment ka pa doon eh. So... <laughs> Pero <laughs> ako, inis, nakakahiya. Pero hindi ako, again, hindi ako proud sa mga nagawa ko doon. And then, I came to realize na mali yun. Tapos, <clears throat> pero nag-aaral ako kung pagkailangan. Kung ano, may quiz yun. Mga ano, 10 minutes before the quiz, nag-aaral ako. Ganun. Pero mahilig ako makinig. Mahilig ako makinig tsaka mag-recite. So, I know na from there, natututo ako. So, lagi akong pasado. Yun nga, mayabang nga ako. So, kahit anong ginagawa ko, kahit nakikipag-away ako, kahit nabubuli ako, basta alam ko sa sarili ko na matalino ako, okay na ako. Yung ganun, ang kamay talaga ng mga nakakalino. So, yun. Tapos, um, ayun, hanggang sa third year, lag, lagi ako nasa top. Top 1, top 2, top 3, top 7, always. Hindi ako nawawala doon. Pero, pag napapansin ko na pupunta ako sa top 1, bab- bababaan ko yung grades ko. Bakit? Ayoko sa pilot section. Ayoko doon. Ayoko madipat. Kasi, mga hindi ko na magawa yung mga gusto ko. Pero nung nag-fourth year um, high school ako, ayun, naging, nandun na punta ako doon. Bad trip. Ayoko dito yung mga patay bata dito. Yung mga ganyan. <laughs> Alam mo ka ako talaga. <laughs> Ayoko dito. Pero, nung nakasama, kung nakasama ko sila, doon ako, doon ko na-realize na, ay, kalma ka lang, girl. <laughs> Maayos din sila, tao din sila. High school lang din sila, just like me. Um, same, same, same environment lang din pala. Nasa mentality lang ng tao na kapag nasa pilot selection before, Uh, mga nerd yan, ganyan, hindi, baliw din sila, just like Irish. Kung ako yung taga-bangka, may taga-tawa doon, ang saya-saya, ganyan. <laughs> so, ano, I came to realize na, kasi ang hilig kong sumali sa activities sa school. Ganyan ako, papansin na ako, eh, parang kinin yung bidabida, ganyan. <laughs> so, mahilig tayo, tapos sobrang friendly ko. Tapos hanggang sa nung yun, fourth year, wala na ako nabubuli kasi lahat friends ko na, alam mo yun, parang nasanay ako na, okay. Tapos yun, since sa Christian school ako, sobrang hindi ako nagmimura noon. Hindi ako nagmimura, wala akong kasamaan. Ang kasamaan ko lang yung, ayoko sa'yo, mga kong palaka, mga ganun lang. Tapos, nung nag-college ako, ayoko sa PUP kasi, 
Pero nagkaroon kami ng financial problem as a family. So, wala akong choice. Sige, PUP tayo. Mababa yung question fee. Let's do this. Pero yung first day ko doon, ayaw ko talaga. Tapos alam mo yung napakasaway mo. Pumasok ko ng school na kasando. Wow! Ang galing naman. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm not, again, I'm not proud of it. First day, nasa chairperson ako tsaka sa dean. Kasi nakasando ako. Alam mo yung parang baliw talaga. Tapos edu. Ang galing. Ang talino. <laughs> oh, sorry. So, pili ko ang... Um, ang sama ako talaga ng tao before. Kasi ako yung ano, ako yung nag-instigate lagi na, or nag-i-initiate lagi. Pero kasing, ako yun. Ako yun. Pero kasing kaya natin yan. Ganon. Ako yun. I'm that person. I'm that kind of student. Pero makikita nyo biglan, magugulat sila. Bakit pasado ka? Bakit ganyan ka? Sabi ko, ewan ko, nakikinig kasi ako kahit nagkakat ako eh. Kasi nagkakat ako, pag sure ako na alam ko na yung, ano, yung lesson. Mandaya ako rin eh. So, ganun ako. Tapos nagiging dinsister ako hanggang sa hindi ko siya magawa sa accounting. And, and it's funny because accounting yung naturo ko sa APEC, di ba? Parang sabi ko, Lord, ano ba ginawa mo? Bakit ito yung pinatuturo ko sa akin? Eh, ito yung kinakating ko dati. Tapos ito lang yung dahilan ko, ba't di ako umloud eh? Alam mo yun, nakakabal trip. <laughs> yun lang yung nagbigay ng stress sa akin before. Tapos biglang ito yung ituturo ko. How ironic. Tapos parang sabi ko, sige Lord, kaya lagi ko sinachallenge yung Lord. Sige, pag ito, naturo ko na maayos, pag pasado yung mga studyante ko, mag-accounting na ako. So ayun, nag-accounting ako kasi pasado yung mga students ko eh. So meaning, may purpose ko ba kung gano'n. So, ayun, I am not that studious, pero hmm, binigyan mo ako ng task, ay nung gagawin ko siya. And gusto ko maayos, gusto ko organize, gusto ko, ganun talaga ako. Um, baliw ako, and I have a lot of friends. Hanggang, since high school, hanggang ngayon, friends ko sila. Um, minang ako ng mga anak nila, <laughs> yung mga college friends ko. Hanggang ngayon, minang pa rin ako. Ayun, hanggang minang muna ako. <laughs> na minang, no? Pero wala kang kapartner na ninong. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Bastos ka talaga eh. Ewan ko dito. Tanungin nyo na nga ito. <laughs> Pero ayun, I am that kind of um, student. Baliw ako, but um, I'm a responsible student. Kahit na nagkakat ako, I know for a fact na dapat maayos yung grades ko. Kasi hindi ako magwawalwal hanggat babagsak ako. Kasi hindi pwede. Kasi lagot ako sa parents ko. Pero wala akong matutubos na medal just like I am. <laughs> wala akong patutubos na medal. Yan yung goal ko, Miss Pat. Sana pala nakitropa ako sa'yo sa pit floor. <laughs> Ay, sa third floor pala kayo. No? <laughs> third floor. Uh-uh. Okay. Pero hindi eh. Ma- ma- malayo yata yung anak natin. Baka hindi kita na- naabutan sa school. <laughs> malayo yung gap. So that's it. Thank you, Abed. And... Malayo yung alin. Alin. Alin yung malayo. Yung gap. Matanda na ako. Okay. <laughs> ah, yung uh, nililinaw lang. <laughs> so that's it. Thank you so much, Miss Pat. <laughs> Nakikita ko. <laughs> parang, there's, a, there's something that gets worse and worse and worse and then, pero constant pa rin yung responsibility. But I would also like to um shout out to Miss Marielle. Hi, Miss Marielle. Um, Pamangkin, what about you? Please take it away for me. Um, first of all, no, thank you po again to Miss Irish and Miss Pat for that. And, um, ang napansin ko lang kay Miss Pat para mahilig siyang i-challenge si Lord eh no. Madami siyang challenge kay Lord para ring <laughs> para ring medyo madalas yung pag-challenge niya mo bang no? oh, madami madaming hamon sir. Madami challenge. No? Tsaka yun nangyari nga para naging ganti ng api arc eh na yung ikaw muna yung nabuli tas after mga one year ano ikaw naman yung nang nang bubuli and um Uh, I will move on now to um, Sir Tim. Sir Tim, ikaw naman po. Um, siguro for me, since na, for for Miss Irish and Miss Pat, they have shown yung yung extreme ng isang yung isang extreme ng isang student na masipong mag-aral, yung maulit. Siguro let for me, let me show you the other extreme. Yung tahimik lang, yung tipong um pag umalis yung advisor na nasa, isa, nasa isang upuan lang siya, pag balit yung advisor, nakaupo pa rin siya doon. <laughs> Ako yun. Uh, that was me during my elementary. But nung, I remember this during my grade one. Since yung spelad kasi namin, uh, siguro mga five minutes away lang doon sa bahay namin. And every time I go to school, uh, sinisilip ko muna whether, kasi si, si Miss kasi ng that time is not, not always around. So yun. 
every time na wala si miss kasi there's a tendency that we need to join the other section what what i did during that time is tinatakasan ko yung guardia sa school so harap-harapan ko tinatakbuhan yung guardia kasi yung siguro yung mga yung siguro mga isang di pa yung lawak ng gate tapos nakatayo lang siya dun sa may gate tapos ang ginagawa ko tinatakbuhan ko lang siya tapos umuwi ako ng bahay na <laughs> yun uh, that y- yun ako nung grade 1 In terms of May grades naman. Mayroon tayo sa patin pero ngayon. Okay. <laughs> so during nung, nung elementary, uh, I don't know if alam nila Miss Pat or yung, yung salitang puro palakol na grades. Gets nyo yun? Puro palakol? Sige. Uh, Miss Irish, alam nyo ba yung pag sinabi yung puro palakol lang grades? Hey, or Miss Pat? Hindi na, nasa line of seven. Aha, aha. Oo. Siguro nagkaroon ako ng collection noon ng puro palakol. Uh, na nauso yung grand bond noon kasi parang ang rang isos parang axe eh puro naka double axe ako lagi 77 <laughs> ayun uh, tapos nung high school still the same timid boy parang team mid pun intended ayan uh, still pero nung college medyo nag ano medyo nag level up ako medyo late bloomer kasi ko nung college lang ako nagkaroon ng mga close friends talaga this is where i started to uh, exp- to express myself since I'm in the hospitality industry, di ba? So I need to have that kapal ng mga to face the customer or to assist to whatever job or job in the future that I will be uh, doing. So there. Um, what is In terms of sa pagiging makulit, hindi naman. Actually, during elementary days and high school, I'm elementary ako yung lagi nabubuli. Uh, ayun. Actually, naalala ko, pinakain ako ng mga klase ko ng Greenpeace na galing sa kanal. <laughs> Sabi niya, team, kunin mo to. Hindi kinamin sa ito. Di, oh naman, sige, siyempre. Bagong transfer kasi ako nun. Hindi so, kain ako. <laughs> Lagi ito yung reaction ni Pat. Tapos nung nag-high school na ako, ako naman ngayon yung nagpapakain ng Greenpeace. Hindi, <laughs> joke lang. Ganti so, na ako, uh, please, sir. <laughs> Ko yung pagpupuli ko hindi umabot sa ganyan ha. Hindi hindi ko kaya. Hindi sabi pa ako kasama hindi, naman hindi, yung physical grabe. Sige, hindi mo na ano po lang sa sir team. Depende ano lang sa sarili mo. Depende mo lang sa sarili mo. Sir. How did yeah. you know na galing siya sa kanal? Kasi Kaya sinabi ka? nila. Sila nung nung kinain, kasi inaantay nilang yung moment na kainin ko yung green peas. Parang siya pag itatakot ko sa bibig mo yun eh. Tapos bigla siya nagtawanan. Sabi niya, e, e, e galing sa kanal yan. Pumbira <laughs> talaga ka ako. Sir, anong Pero, lasa ng kanal? Oh, sir, anong lasa? <laughs> one, one, thing, uh, one thing na I can remember during that experience is, yung green piece niya, basa siya. <laughs> so, yun nga, kasi galing siya sa kanal, pero the same, the same taste pa rin as your normal green piece. So, <laughs> so, sabi ko, gagawin din talaga ako sa high school ko. Mag- naging mabait pa rin naman ako nung high school. Pero, I started to, ano nga, uh, yun nga, I started to having friends. Although, during nung, nung second year high school ako, one thing I realized, kapag nasa higher section ka, much likely you will have fake friends. But when I transferred to a lower school, ah, lower school, to like lower section, yung tipong huli, sabi ko, mas totoo yung mga bata dito. But, uh, this is my opinion, uh, this is just my opinion. Mas totoo yung mga bata dito, mas... Siguro dahil we, all of us in that section during my fourth year, all of us belongs to in the same social economic status. So yun. Kasi yung most of my classmates during nung second year high school na nasa section 2 ako, is more, most of them are, should I say, middle class. So yun, parang, there's, parang merong discrimination pag merong kang if you're in the lower class kasi. So yun. Pero yun nga, college, yun nga. This is, ito na yung part na naging tao na ako nakikipag-usap na ako and then ito na ang trabaho niya that's that's for me <laughs> thank you thank you po sir Tim no? uh, sana po masarap yung green peas um, and then next I would like to ask <laughs> sir Chris ikaw naman sir Chris alam ko marami kang makakwento sir Tim baka new learned skill ng mga bata yung pagpapakain ng green peas na galing sa kanan <laughs> new, oh, ano, no. new bullying technique unlock Diba? Oo nga, Kaka, kakakwento mo yan pag talaga meron na po sa hospital dahil napakain ng something. Mga bata, huwag yung gagawin yun. <laughs> Tapos pag tinanong, saan mo natutunan yan? 
Hey, sir, team po. <laughs> um, yun. Uh, thank you sa pagsala sa dead air ko. Yun, um, high school, as I was saying, I was just a nobody nun. Pero, I'm, I was the typical student. Hindi, well, sige, ganito. I, I've experienced bumagsak din. So, eh, ko parang uso sa akin bumagsak. In love life, in, ay, sorry. Basta, so, yun, uh, naranasan kong bumagsak. Like, eto, sige, I have kwento, quick kwento. When I was in second year high school, grade 8, nung mga pa, netong panahon nyo, Ahmed and Johan. Eto dahilan, bata ko siguro naging English teacher. Um, mathematics, um, maybe some of you don't, can really um, relate. Pero sa mga co-teachers ko dito, the teachers who are listening, watching us, maybe they could relate. Eh. Um, first grading, my grade in mathematics nung grade 8, ah, nung second, second year high school ako was 71.30. So, yan, sila Sir Tim, palakol. <laughs> Come on, mas, ako yung bagsak, guys. Siya palakol lang line of 7. Pas pumasa pa, ako talagang bagsak. Like, at that time, when that grade would appear on your card, nakapulang mark yon, pulang ink yon. I don't know if they would agree with me, pero I mean, that's what happened to me. Eto guys, when second grading came, guys, matuwa naman tayo kasi tumaas grade ko. From 71.30 naging 71.60. Di ba tumaas naman, di ba? Tumaas naman. I mean, hello. So I, I well... Um, praise God to my parents. Um, alam, al, al, grabe yung galit na naramdaman ko nun kasi hindi ko sila masisi. They saw how bulakbol I was. So, they still love me for who I was. In-enroll ako sa tutorial. Ako naman, oh, sige, uh, ang hirap pala ng ganito, pula yung grades mo. So, yun. Um, eventually, nabawi ko rin naman but hindi na naulit during high school. Hindi na ulit during high school. Kasi yun nga, again, on college, uh, doon ako uh, nakaranas ng bumagsak ulit. But, um, quick kwento rin, in, yun nga, in college, ganun ako, UAAP nung first two years, ganun. Even nung mga last, even nung nag-champion yung school namin noon, I was still in UAAP, but I was in the College of Education na by that time. And, mo, as in yung buong lineup na yon yung 15 players, kaklasiko. So, um, good thing na lang din, um, I was so thinking about my scholarship na by that time. And ito walang halong pagyayabang. Ah. And I am not condoning this, hindi ko pinopromote to. Siguro sila Miss Iris, sila, Miss, sila Sir Tim, Miss Pat. Um, nung high school kami, ah, hindi ngayon. I'm not against the curriculum or what. I'm just stating the reality. Please wag nyo ko i-cancel. Um, when I was in high school, or when we were in high school, hindi ka mag-aral, pumasok ka lang, papasa ka. Alright? As long as may nagagawa ka, pumapasa yung mga quiz mo, ganun. Eh, ako rin hindi. Talagang wala eh. I mean, araw na examination, hindi ako nag-aaral. So talagang wala nangyayari. In college, doon ako sinampal ng realidad na wala kang aral, brad, seat work lang, babagsak ka. Wala kang aral, seat work lang, babagsak ka, at yun ang hahatak ng grade mo, pababa. And that's what happened to me. Miss Pat was mentioning earlier accounting. <laughs> yun yung subject na tinake ko ng twice at binagsak ko ng twice. Because <laughs> I was in the business um, college noon. Now again, yun nga, nung nasa college of education na, naging scholar, eto from being mayabang, eto na yung kumpiyansa. Because I had professors back then na namiwala saan. Kasi nga, that's what I was telling about earlier na um, yung sense of belongingness, feeling of belongingness. Doon ko naramdaman eh. So, kahit um, loko-loko ako, I mean, nag-aaral pa rin ako because may nagtitiwala sa akin eh. Grabe na yung kumpiyansa ko noon na to the point that, sige, you you challenge me what would be your question. And uh, mga gusto ko pa nga ang tanungan nun, situational, yung talagang nagtuturo na kami, ayoko yung mga identification, enumeration. <laughs> That's so low order thinking skills for me by that time. And uh, eto, I'm not saying this out of yabang. I am saying this out of confidence. And there's a universe of difference between the two. Now, translate ko na lang din in my board exam Ito, ito yung talaga yung nakakatawa. Eh. When I was having my review, so, umasa na, I mean, graduate na, ganun ganyan. Hindi ako nagmarcha by the way, in college. So, hindi ko ramdam na graduate na ako. Tapos, I took the boards. Ito matindi. 
when I was taking the boards, yung mga kami magkakapatid, di ba? Three of my siblings, two brothers and my sister, my only sister, got married in just one year. Kasi sa family namin, wala yung suko. We don't believe in that kasi. So, um, quick kwento. So, um, magpipreboards na kami nun. <laughs> magpipreboard na kami nun. Kinasal yung kuya kong isa. Sa aming magkakapatid, ako to, pang lima, pang apat siya. Okay. And kinasal siya Saturday. By Monday after two days, <laughs> kinasal yung isa pa naming kuya. Yung pangatlo. Okay? Now, my sister lives overseas in Australia. And she would be getting married in Australia. So, after nung kasal ng dalawang kapatid, impake kami. Punta kami. Tapos punta na kami ng Sydney. Fly to Sydney. After two weeks, kinasal yung ate ko. <laughs> Could you imagine that? And again ah, pre-board guys. Pre-board. Malapit na mag-board. That's the next step bago ka mag-board. Ito pa, biroan ko nun sa sarili ko. When we were on the plane, hindi may iwas ang may turbulence. So ang biro ko nun, hala, lahat ng nireview ko, naiwan sa ulap dahil sa turbulence. Ganun talaga as in. Really, no cap. Facts lang. As in, that's what happened. Sige. Tapos, di, yan na, kinasal na ko. Pagbalik dito, oh, balik sa realidad. Take ka ng boards. Hala, yan na. So final coaching, ganun ganyan. Inasawa ko yung pagre-review. Yun, may re- review materials Wala din man lang akong girlfriend, ba't di ko nalang asawahin ng review materials ko, di ba? So that's what I did. And um, I would really say that it's the grace of God why I have garnered a grade such as high as that. It was not a top notcher kind. Hindi rin siya within the top 10. But if you would ask people in the industry, wow, ang taas niya na kahit hindi ka nag-top. Pati bihira nakakakuha ng rating ko in, an, in a major subject. So, um, it's really something na I'm really proud of. But I am not condoning yung mga kalokohan ko. Ha. And wag nyo ko i-cancel with uh, how I was in high school. Again, I'm not bashing against the educational system, the curriculum or what. It's just at what how I was. Okay? Just how I was. Thank you po doon, no, Sir Chris. Uh, para kung naka, nakambak niyo na yung ha, nangyari sa school and uh, ganda ng priorities niyo straight na straight talaga imbis na ha, magjowa ka na na itasawa mo ginawa mo yung review material and um, I think isa yun sa dahilan kung bakit uh, yun uh, bumasa ka and um, maganda talaga ko, yung bakit tingil pa rin ako eh tala ko gagawin mo ako eh <laughs> may pera ko eh di naman sir <laughs> di naman sir um and uh, thank you po din sa, sa inyo po lahat dun sa pagsagot. And uh, my next question po is, um, curious din po kasi ako dito eh. Um, has teaching affected your lives the way na you initially thought it would? Um, una ko pong gustong tanongin is Miss Irish po. Siguro, um, it did affected how how I thought my life would be teaching, no? Kasi when I first entered teaching, ang, ang gusto ko talaga lang matutunan was that how I would be able to improve my craft, yung kumbaga how I teach. Pero nung, when I was already practicing teaching, yung value na na sa life ko with the stories of my students were really different. Kumbaga, it was one thing for, for me to teach in front of them, and it's another thing kapag narinig mo yung collective stories nila and it inspires you also. no? So, siguro ang added value sa akin ng teaching na hindi ko na, na hindi ko inexpect no after I, I do it was that how yung individual stories ng student makaka-affect din sa akin and how I see things in the different perspective siguro. Ayun. So, ayun siguro. <laughs> Thank you po, Miss Irish. Um, next po, I would like to ask Miss Pat po. Okay, just like Irish, <laughs> kakapipaste ulit ako. Nangungopia talaga. Hindi <laughs> dati nagpapopopia ako. So. Ngayon ako naman yung mga <laughs> Well, um, ayun. Uh, akala ko rin, ako lang yung mag improve But teaching is like um, helping the others improve as well. Doon ko na-realize na sobrang ibang-iba talaga yung mga tao. Ibang-iba yung stu- si student 1, kay student 2, kay student 3. Kahit iisa lang yung klase niyan, 
even though pare-pareho pa yung ranking niyan, kahit pare-pareho siya nung naka 90%, yung perspective niyan, iba. So, from those um, differences, we, as teachers, we really learned a lot from you and we really are thankful. Kasi iba-iba kayo. Kasi kung pare-pareho kayo, sobrang boring nun. And, um, the, the, um, <clears throat> for the longest time that I was teaching. And right now, nandito pa rin ako sa world ng sobrang dami kong nakakasalamuha. Ibat-ibang tao, ibat-ibang perspective, ibat-ibang problema every day. Um, Doon ko na realize na we should always be kind at all times. No matter how you feel. No matter um what you feel. Kung feeling mo talaga ano, hindi ka magiging kind today, huwag ka na lang lumabas. Umabsend ka na lang, kumalma ka sa bahay hanggat sa paglabas mo, yung okay ka na. Kasi iba yung um, impact ng teachers sa students. Iba yung impact nung, nung taong you look up to, na everyday nakikita mo siya, tapos biglang na, naiba yung mood ni. Kunwari ako, naiba yung mood ko for the day. Mararamdaman niya ng students, kahit magkakaiba yung, and ayun pa, magkakaiba yung perspective nila. So from there, I realized na um, it's, we're not pretending actually, but it's okay to show um, your best foot forward, lalo na sa class. So, it's fine na kasi tao lang din naman kami and we realize na, ayun, ganun talaga eh. Um, we're changing, we have different views, we have differences. Um, just always be kind to everyone kasi you don't know their baggages. So there, <laughs> that's it. That's what I've learned. Thank you, Miss Pat. And um, I agree din po no, na iba-iba po tayo kahit um, sabihin mo, we share some similarities with each other. Um, deep inside po, iba-iba pa rin tayo ng views, perspectives, and um, sometimes it, it is what it is, no? Um, and we have to be kind always to each other. And um, Tito Hans, back to you. Yun nga rin, I, actually, I agree with, with Miss Pat and with, uh, with my pamangkin, syempre, na yun nga, uh, nafe-feel rin natin na if the LF or the teacher, no matter what school is in a different mood, parang nag rin yung atmosphere in the class. No? And kasi I also agree that everybody is different. Each and everyone is unique. Gets nyo po? Okay. Um, yun. Sir Chris, what about you, sir? <laughs> Sorry, lutang ako. What's the question again? <laughs> <laughs> sir, ah, uh, I... Has teaching affected your lives the way you initially thought it would? Yan, sir. Lalim yung tanong. Nakakaya naman na English teacher ako tapos papatagalog ko pa. Sige na nga, sagutin ko na lang. Ano? Um, well, yes and no. Yun na lang. Yes and no. Um, yes, it met my expectations na... In terms of finances, talaga namang, alam ko naman na by before pa eh, walang kikita. I mean, meron man di sapat. No, kasi, um, yeah, I was expecting that, alam mo ganito kasi yan eh, um, sa trabaho namin, whether we like it or not, makaka-influence at makaka-influence kasi. And, um, yung term na influencer, Sorry ha, not to cancel anyone or not to brag on anyone, not to demean anyone. Before pa makam up yung word na yan, parang kami na yun eh. Sila Socrates na yun eh. Sila Aristotle na yun. Sila Plato na yun eh. Um, sila Jesus Christ na yun eh. Influencer eh. I mean, I mean, you know, dati pa yan. And um, siguro kaya ako nasabing no in terms of influence kasi it exceeded in fact my expectations in terms of in terms of influence like si Ahmed like ano ko yan um siya kumbaga, i can call him ninong in such a way that siya yung buminyag sa akin in uh, apex um siya yung buminyag sa akin in terms of teaching kasi student ko siya and um there's this co-teacher namin nagsabi sa akin hindi bagay sa yung maging advisor ng grade 7 kasi yung confidence level mo sobrang taas and nothing wrong with that it's just that yung students na mama na yon and they have seniors ahead of them so itong si Ahmed not to demean him hindi niya kasalanan to ah siguro akin yon um meron siya yung angas na hindi ko masisisi kasi alaga naman maangas si Ahmed it's in a good way but syempre bata pa si Ahmed so minsan hindi niya makontrol yon and again hindi niya kasalanan yon so 
when that happened, sabi ko, grabe yung ganong influence, no? Na hindi ko naman sinasabi na maging maangas siya. Hindi ko naman sinasabi na mag patching up lagi siya tapos laka hyper extend yung mga extremities niya kada maglalakad siya. No, that's not Ahmed. Ahmed aangasan ka niya with his performance. Ganon. And um ka- sorry, kaya niya may pagsabayan pa noon dati pa eh, mga grade level ahead of him. And minsan na imi-misinterpret siya ng ibang LFs na ang yabang nitong hayop na to kundi dahil porket matalino. Ganon. Again, hindi niya kasalanan yun. Hindi niya kasalanan yun. So, yung influence ko na yun, na parang it stopped me. That's why I was thankful that I was assigned into a senior high school naman. Una, grade 12. Yan. Kung kilala niyo sila, Kuya John Dave Libuta ninyo. Yun yung tipo ng tao na 6 to ang height, pero sobrang timid. Like, sobrang tahimik. But when I was, I became his advisor, hindi pa rin siya maangas. So, spoken pa rin siya. But, grabe na yung confidence nung tao in terms of presentation. Before, um, galing sa kanya na hindi ko pa siya student nun. When he was in grade 11, half of the school year, nag-cut siya. But when he is, he was in grade 12 na, grabe yung, I mean, sila Miss Pat nyo. I think he, Miss Pat nyo would agree with me na grabe yung performance ni David Libutan nun. Because, Again, hindi ko binibigay yung credit sa akin na may skill yung bata. But I guess somehow my influence has, again, influenced that. And sa, bahala na kayo mag-judge kung good influence ba ako o bad influence. Now, last, Johan. Um, Johan is skilled. No doubt about that. No cap. We can't question that. He's skilled in hosting. But kaya niya bang mag ad before? I don't think so. And... I think lang naman. Again, I hope I'm not bragging here. Hindi ko tinitake yung credit. Maybe siguro yung bilis ko mag-isip ng linyahan, maybe may innate na yun kay Johan before. Siguro mas na labas ngayon because kumpiyansa ako kay Johan eh. Johan, alam mo, kaya mo to. I mean, when the two of us talk lang, kaming dalawa lang, Johan would agree with me na malagi ko siyang kinukulit. Kaya mo yan, kaya mo yan. Marami kang kaya sabihin. I mean, matino ka, yes, you got that good image, but at least you have your other side with you. And I don't think that's bad na parang it hosting naman eh, hindi ka naman nang bubuli. And don't just cross the line na lang. Tipong ganon. So again, yes and no. Yes, in terms of finances, it has met my expectations in such a way na hindi sa patang kinikita. But no, in such a way that it's an influence na it exceeded my expectations in terms of influence na hindi ko inaakala. Ito na lang ah. Yung gantong influence ko, influence namin ni Sir Tim, Miss Pat, Miss Irish, tingin nyo mabubutong podcast na to without that influence coming from us. And, sorry ah, ibabrag ko na rin lang, influence ng parents namin, influence Nino, Miss M, Sir Benji, Sir Tony, Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. Miss J, how can I forget? Miss J, how can I forget? Those people, grabe yung influence, kumpiyansa, trust, everything. Yun yung masasabi ko eh. That's where it exceeded and it um, it didn't meet my expectations. Yeah, thank you so much, sir. Nakaka-heart, nakaka, ano naman, sir? Heartwarming naman ng mga messages niyo, sir and miss. <laughs> Um, so yun nga. Ahmed, what do you, do you want to add something to what they said? I'll be last. Um, well, first of all, dun kay Sir Chris, no, syempre, nabanggit ako. I think I should um say something, you know. Um, and I would like to say na, o oh, nga, tama yun. Confidence ni Sir Chris nung grade 7. Kami nagka ngayon naman. And um, hindi naman bragging yun. It's far from bragging. It's just... um. Pretty convinced and you know, nakatulong sa akin, um, I would say, positively. Yun nga sa si Sir Chris na para naging maangas ako and um, in terms of performance then And I can say, again, not bragging na nakakasabay nga ako nun. And um, I think it's all um, thanks to Sir Chris. And um, anyway, sige, I'll answer the question. Um, for me, I'll, I'll make this a real quick one. Um, for me, what did it change me or how? Uh, First, uh, before I end up being a teacher, I realize uh, I think that whatever amount of patience I have is enough as a teacher. 
But then when and na, as a teacher, I realized that that patience alone is not enough. Um, I realized that it should be paired with understanding and that the word understanding since I started as a teacher in APEC means a lot to me. Uh, understanding um, is also somehow related to learning, learning in every situation, in any person, in any uh in, yeah, in any circumstances there's always something to learn there which somehow widens or broadens my understanding of myself the people around me their behaviors and well parang in general parang yeah the, the understanding of everything i guess that's it for me thank you boys Thank you so much, Sir Tim. So let's, uh, hmm, how do I say this? Let's go to the next question um, for the former uh, teachers. So Miss Pat, Miss Irish, if you would be offered an opportunity to go back to teaching, would you actually accept it, uh, Miss Irish or Miss Pat? Uh, Miss Pat, can you go first? Sure thing. Yes, of course. I would love to. <laughs> I would love that. Um, again, I'm in training. It's just like teaching, but it's different when it comes to students. Again, when I'm being asked by everyone in, in the office, because they already know about me. And that's my first call center. And then still <laughs> that call center, because I'm in the environment. But going back to um, your question, yes, it's always, it will always be a yes, because it's different. And it, again, um, just like what um, Chris said, it might not be financially rewarding, but it is rewarding in all aspects, except for finances. But we can do something about that. Pra ano na, maging practical lang. And di ba, we have businesses and all that, so um, it's fine. We can do something about finances. Magbenta tayo ng balot during class. Sure. Hindi kaya tayo kay Sir Tony. Magtinda rin ako ng hot dog. Reseller muna ako. Magbenta tayo ng balot during class. Oh, so sad. Like selling tayo ganyan. Hindi kasi maraming pagkukuhanan ng pera, ng income. Pero yung pagkukuhanan mo ng inspiration and experiences, it will be different. Knowing people, understanding people, having patience with everything, not just the workload but also um your students. Iba siya. Iba yung feeling na I never expected na ganun ka bigat yung impact. So, it it will always be a yes for me. Thank you so much, Miss Pat. So my chance pa bumalik. Ah, uh, yung pero siguro wala na ata ako dito next year. <laughs> At uh, di dati na lang ba ako di guru graduate? Just kidding. Siyempre, better each day. Magiging better. Miss Irish, what about you, Miss? Would you actually go back to teaching this? Ako oo talaga, definitely. No, ako ang long-term goal ko kasi talaga is to go back to the academy. Although, I would like to pursue teaching in the tertiary level. That's why also I'm taking my master's degree. Kasi when I set out there, no, nung, nung, nung gusto ko na magtrabaho talaga, I really don't like a job na nakaharap lang ako sa computer. Parang sabi ko, it doesn't suit me. Gusto ko talaga yung job na meron akong interaction na yung nasa paligid ako lagi ng mga tao. And I like the feeling of being excited to be inside a classroom. And that equal excitement is being felt by your student. Pag nakita ka nila, andyan na, see me, sky science yung ituturo mo. Di ba parang ibang ba't ulo, science na naman, ganyan. Pero yung nag, ang sarap kasi sa pakiramdam, kapag papasok ka sa klase, excited ka magturo, tapos yung mga bata, they would also be excited to learn from you. It's a different kind of fulfillment and satisfaction that you can get from a job. Diba? Parang kahit sabi, eh, some people would say na, naku, MME lang yan yung mga teacher, ganyan na sabi lang yan nila yan, kasi to inspire ganyan-ganyan yung mga student. But it's really true. Promise, iba talaga yung pakiramdam. And it's a feeling that I want to get back to soon. No? Kaya lang sobrang hirap talaga ng process, sobrang tedious to get there. No, kailangan mo talaga ng proficiency and in extensive experience, no? But 
teaching is something that I would get back to because it's something that I really want to do and expect me to be there, hopefully, you know, in a few years' time. And malay nyo, di ba, when you get to college, malay nyo naman, di ba, someday, hopefully, in a good university, we will see each other again. Ayun. Thank you so much, Miss Irish. I think I just remembered something. I remember uh, Miss Irish telling, I think my section. I'm not sure with the other section. 10 a.m. one, so I'm 10 a.m. two. Miss I, I remember Miss Irish, uh, Kaupo, telling us that in the future, um, if as time goes on, you're going to start to realize money is like secondary. Then if you love what you do, no matter how much it is, that jan kana, you're going to stay there because you really love it. I remember something like that, or somewhere uh, between those lines. May naiwan pala akong wisdom kay Johan. I'm very happy, no? That you remembered something that I said that I don't really recall na. But I mean, you see, that's the power of teaching, no? You get to influence one another na you don't even know and then naiiwan sa kanila and natatanim. And then, di ba, mag-grow yun. Ayun. Thank you, Johan. Thank you, Miss. Ahmed, may pamangkin. Take it away. Thank you, Tito. Um, and again, going back to dun muna sa sinabi ni Miss Ayers and ni Miss Pat, uh, tama, ibang-iba talaga ang online from face-to-face. -face. Not only in teaching, but also in um, students din. It's very hard and um, ibang-iba feeling na papasok ka, lalakad ka sa, dyan sa countryside, kung ano na pang amoy mong basura dyan kasi kung ano na nangyayari dun, kukommute ka, iba talaga, iba talaga ang feeling, no? Um, and next question I would like to ask is for the current LF naman po. Um, Sir Tim, I would like to ask you first. What makes you stay in teaching po? Uh, made me stay? Um, I guess, I know, the, the learnings. Like what I mentioned a while ago in terms of understanding and you know, trying to broaden it or... Uh, there's there's value in um yeah, what made me say is the value that I, that I saw in this profession even though at times uh their yung, yung motivation ko nagdudwindle siya or for for other reason or for some reasons i still have my empties behind me to motivate me to, to get back to that optimal level and i thank them for that um and yeah for me it's all about understanding uh hearing stories um learning from my students what what is, what is your stories or what is like that yeah um yeah that's it for me <laughs> thank you po, sir tim um and next po, sir chris yeah um on my end the man like Ako, uh, I, it's just that I don't want na maging mas I would take in uh, this would take in bad against me na naman, no? But I've I've been to different school na rin kasi I've been teaching eh, for, from a different school. Siguro kaya ako rin nasasabi that uh, hindi ko kaya ipagpalit yung experiences, yung mga ganto, yung natututo kayo, everything from the amount of money. It's because siguro I was also I am also blessed to be in a working environment. Like, nakita nyo yung natural na kontuhan naming apat. Like, we, as if we haven't seen each other for, what, years? But it's just that two years or what? And, um, or decades na hindi kami nagkita. But it's just that two years. Because gano'n namin ka-enjoy yung company ng bawat isa. Plus, we were so blessed. Until now, certainly and I, I'm still blessed. That um, we are given to or entrusted to um, superiors, Miss M, Sir Tony, na grabe yung motivation sa amin. Tapos ngayon, nadagdagan pa. I forgot to mention, Sir Kenchi, how can I forget? He has given us a lot of confidence. Now, nadagdagan, Sir Junsi, Sir CJ, Miss Mildred, Miss P. A lot of them, man. Like, um, grabe talaga yung nangyayari. So, I think that would really made me stay then. But, siguro, um, hindi ko sa binabrag yung company na meron ako ngayon kasi alam nang just that I could say this with all honesty. Grabe talaga. And hindi na rin ako mag hindi na rin ako magpapakabola sa inyo. No? May health card kami. May HMO kami. That's what also making me stay. I mean, hindi lahat ng school kaya mag-offer ng gano'n. No? Hello? But you know what? Yeah. Um, 
siguro ano na rin, iba rin talaga yung um, leadership of the Ayalas. Sobrang hands down. Uh, like how they're helping the country with the vaccination programs of different LGUs. Siguro nag-ano talaga yun. Eh. Yun yung ripple effect ng influence nila na ultimo umaabot kila Sir Tony, Miss M, Sir Junsi, Sir Kenchi, the, diff, um, the MPs, hanggang sa amin. That's why we were able to pass it on to you as well. That's it. That's what making me stay. Thank you, Sir Chris. No, so it's not only the student to teacher connections, it's also the um colleagues, no, yung mga MTs nyo, yung mga mentors, your bosses. It's it's um it's all mixed para na combine na lahat nun into one good experience, and it's um what makes you stay. Um thank you po. And um next, um, I think this is the last one, uh Tito, and I would like to ask is um for all of you po, um, can you give all of us students a short but meaningful advice po um not only to students but also to teachers a short but meaningful advice po i would like to start off with miss pat po okay <laughs> um it's okay not to be serious at all times when it comes to your grades but always be responsible because it depends on you uh for this is for students um don't forget to enjoy don't forget to laugh at times your mental health is very much important. Um, not just, don't be, I'm not saying don't be grade conscious, ha? It's fine. That's great. That's good, actually. Bakit? Mas maganda yun, right? Because that's your record. But um, I, I would like you guys to always make sure that you are enjoying. Kasi life will give you a lot of issues, problems, and all that. But um, don't take them so seriously. Um, don't forget to if if ever sobrang bigat na, always seek help. If it's not if it's not from your teachers, it's not from your friends or family. Um, look for somebody to talk to. Kasi kailangan yung ilabas yan. Um, kasi during these trying times, yun yung narealize ko. And of course, everything is online. Everyone is just a chat, chat away, right? So go ahead, seek help. It's fine, or just talk to somebody. That's fine. Um, and for teachers, ang galing niya saludo ko sa inyo. I alam niyo yun. Um, again, hindi siya financially rewarding. Kaya siyono talong nimo. Pero ang serap niya sa feeling. And just continue. Just be passionate with what you're doing. And again, enjoy. It's not bad to enjoy things. And you deserve it. Everybody deserves it. So that's it. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Pat. So um, we should all enjoy our lives, no? Whatever the trials may be, let's use it as opportunities to improve further and just um always find the good in something. And again, just enjoy. Um, next, Miss Irish, po. Siguro this goes both for students and teachers, no? Um, siguro one date I, advice that I could give, which also I learned from my past experiences, is that don't be afraid to take on opportunities. Kahit hindi mo kaya. Diba? Even when you think about it, kaya ko ba itong work na to? Ayoko na lang kunin kasi baka hindi ko kaya. Or itong scholarship na to, baka hindi ko ma-maintain. Kaya ko ba talaga to? Don't be afraid or don't think of that thoughts. It's okay na, okay, sige matakot ka. But don't be afraid to grab it. Kasi it's only by doing so that you would know kung kaya mo ba, kung kaya mong i-improve. And doon mo lang malalaman na, ah, kaya ko pala. Kaya ko naman kasing i-develop. What if yung chance na hindi mo tinake, maging what if na lang siya habang buhay. Okay? It's harder to think of the what ifs kesa i-try mo siya or to know. No? It's better to know than have those thoughts na what if lang. Okay, kapag merong bagong job opportunity na palagay mo hindi enough yung skills mo, e eh, na-offer yan sa'yo eh. Ibig sabihin, they saw something in you. Yung scholarship na to, no? Um, even if palagay mo, paano kung nagkalain, uh, paano pag ko na-maintain yung um, grade requirement na kailangan? No, you wouldn't know unless you try. And yung mga opportunities na ganito, minsan lang yan kakatok sa'yo eh. So, kailangan kahit takot ka, susubukan mo. Okay, so don't let the opportunities pass lang sa'yo. Okay, huwag ka matakot for kahit hindi mo kaya. Kasi hindi mo alam na kaya mo pala pag hindi mo naman sinubukan. 
Ayan, siguro, don't be afraid of taking risk. Big risks are bigger rewards din naman kasi. Ayan, siguro. Thank you, Miss Irish. Um, so, don't pass up opportunities. Always try new things. And um, again, parang bottom line risk is enjoy. Enjoy these new things that you're trying po. And before um, I give it up to Tito, I would like to shout out Miss Mary Ann Capistrano. Shout out po. Thank you po. And um, Tito. All right. Thank you, my nephew. So, yun nga rin. Um, enjoy, do what you love, and take risks. Uh, let's move on. Sir Chris, what is your short advice to us students and to your fellow teachers? Uh, I'm going to start with my fellow teachers. And um, unaan mo ako, Ahmed. Pero pinangako ko pa man din sa kanya. Miss Mayan! Miss ka na namin! Shout out, Zan! Bicol. Ano ba meron sa Bicol? Basta, sorry, nakalimutan ko na delicacy niyo. But yeah, going back, um, to the te- my fellow teachers, you know what? I would be humble. Siguro first time tong maririnig ni Pat sa akin that I would be humble. Um, guys, you know what? I don't think I'm in the position to give you advice because in terms of experience, hindi pa ako ganun ka-experienciado. Plus, may kanya-kanya tayong discard eh. I mean, one way or another, um, we when we would talk to each other, baka mas matuto pa ako sa'yo kaysa ikaw sa akin. So, I wouldn't dare go into that position. Siguro sa students, um, simple lang. Um, we're all sinful. We're living in a sinful world. But um, God has given His Son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins, paid the penalty of all of them. Accept Him as your Lord and Savior. And um, I mean, without Him, we're all ter- eternally lost. Eh. I mean, without Him, we don't know the sense of purpose. We would know if this is an opportunity or ano ba, um, lies of the devil. Ganun yan eh. So, um, siguro ano, um, just be humble na lang din and um, walang masama, dream big in such a way that um, your dream would scare you. Because if your dream doesn't scare you, you're not dreaming big enough. Dreaming big is one of the MCH here in Apex. Dream big, dream big. Don't limit yourself. I mean, you got a lot of potential ahead of you. And um, to all the students out there, I do understand what you're going through. Um, my night time is also a student. I, beca- I, I am a student at night, teacher by day. So I understand what you're going through. Let's just help each other. Magpasa tayo ng milestones at final output. Magpasa tayo ng PBA, IPBA, ganyan. Lahat ng mga SA, sagutan natin, ganyan. And uh, just, you know, do what our part. Do our part. Alright? Sabi ko nga lagi sa mga synchronous session ko, Ahmed, uh, Johan, sana natatandaan mo pa to. Do your best. Let God handle the rest. Yes, sir. Natatandaan ko yan, sir. Very clearly, yan talaga yung parang one of your uh, um, catchphrases, sir. Sir Tim, what about you, sir? Same question din po, sir. Siguro for me, let me just drive this point with a story. Um, I saw this part or part of a book ni James Patterson. Uh, Susan's letter to something or someone. So, yun. Uh, the girl there is very busy with, uh, with her work, career, ganyan, and stuff. Now, during uh, during her depressed times, uh, he uh, she went to to, to her mo- uh, mother's house, and then, eh nga, ito na yung advice. This is the advice. In life, guys, so we are like jugglers. Uh, you know, jugglers, you know, juggle ng bola, ganyan, duck pins, or whatever. And um, we are juggling careers. The first one is career. Uh, the second one is if you have hobbies, uh, loved ones, uh, what is yourself, your dignity, you, you, you as an individual. So we have, let's say, five balls you're juggling. Uh, and those balls, and some of them are rubber, some of them are wood, some of them are plastics, and, some of, and one of them is a glass a glass ball that you need to be careful of during during the, the routine of juggling that once you once you mag slip ka lang kahit once na syempre pag nalaglag ang glass mababasag yun and that uh, that that glass ball is your family and it can also be your faith or in whatever religion that you have a glass ball that you need to take care of and this is, I started to realize this last year uh, during the pandemic when I, I had an anxiety in Sepangs with my parents. Po. And 
I realize the value of the family that I have during that time. So there. Yung hobbies nyo, if you're playing computer games, that's, that's fine. If makalimutan mo yung saglit, you can always go back to it. Studies, I, I studied what? At the age of 27, for, the, for my CP, CPE units, nakabalik pa rin ako sa studies ko. Yung friends, they're, they're just there around you. Your family, there's only one family that you have. And then, if you believe in God like us, Sir Chris, uh, there's only one faith that He gave us. And you need to take care of that. That's it for me. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sir. Thank you so much, uh, Sir Tim, Sir Chris, Miss Pat, Miss Irish. So, yung nakikita ko, uh, take breaks, um, do what you love, and take risks. And if ever you're being burned out, take a break nga, yung kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina. So, let's move on. And since we have uh, seven minutes, patay ata tayo, yung galawa amid. Um, is there anyone you guys would like to thank, um, even your business, or anyone special? Um, Miss Irish. First of all, no, I would like to thank Sir Chris and Sir Tim for, for giving us the opportunity to to have this time with you, to be invited in this um, special podcast of Amplify. It's really great to be back. And uh, sobrang namiss ko yung APEC environment, no? I would also like to thank especially Sir Tony, Miss M, no? And Miss J sa past trainings, no? Kasi it really helped me a lot in my current work, no? At saka whenever I would do my um, my reporting sa, sa class. So super laking bagay niyan sa akin. Uh, shout out, special shout out to dyan sa jowa ko, nagpapa shout out. <laughs> Ayan, hi Ken, shout out sa'yo. <laughs> Tsaka sa students ko, grade 9, 10, no, ng, uh, sa Apex Schools. No, hello, miss ko na kayo guys. Sana pagbuti niyo pa rin yung pag-aaral niyo. I don't have any business to promote, but please do support Miss Pat in her businesses. Magaganda yung ang tinda nila, lalo na yung sausage niya. Ayun. Hotdog talaga yan. Thank you. Eh. <laughs> hmm, okay na. Best seller yun, guys. Best seller yun. Thank you so much, Miss Irish. Miss Pat, what about you, Miss? <laughs> Thank you, ha. Thank you, Irish, ha. <laughs> and Chris, actually. Okay, so, kung shout-out lang din, kung kailangan nyo ng work referral, message nyo lang ako, send your resume. Ako, bahala sa inyo. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi ang dami ko ng students. Um, Oy, yung mga senior high school so, students na nanonood, no? alam nyo na, sino nung gusto nyo dapat i-message. PM nyo kami, PPM namin kaya sa kanya. Guys, actually, I'm very proud. I'm very proud of my grade 12 students. Sando na sila, working with me. Um, I'm... Can you give them a shout-out? Yeah, um, Carmel, Tonel, um, Danina, Tifi, Kyra, Joanna Ricablanca. Oh, ha? Ang dami na. <laughs> so, oh, hindi ko na naalala. Patawarin nyo ako, mga mahal ko. <laughs> and Pero libre nyo na lang ako. Kumikita na kayo na mas malaki sa akin, Jesus. True. Ayun yung maganda, di ba? Um, mas malaki yung sahod ng mga estudyante namin kaysa sa amin. Ganun yung, ganun yung nangyayari. <laughs> but that's um, very rewarding. Sobrang sarap. So thank you so much, lalo na sa mentors namin. Hanggang ngayon, um, Miss J, Miss M, and Sir Tony, lahat ng learnings ko from APEC, all of the experiences, and also um, from my colleagues, andito pa rin sa akin. And I really value them a lot. So I'm really grateful and to all the teachers out there. Kapit lang kaya natin to online man or face to face. I know that you can do this. You got this. You got this, guys. And to our students, ayun. Kaya kaya niyo rin to. Just, just just be responsible and take a break. That's it. Um paplug ko na unique. <laughs> Follow unique ko. H U E N I Q U E space CO. Um, nag-alive selling yung kapatid ko. Um, those are from our suppliers. <laughs> Nandiyan ka ba? Hi! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> so, Hi! Hi, Ate Pam! <laughs> yeah, she's Pam. Um, ayun, nag-alive selling kami ng clothes, dresses, and also friends.ph that's for my cousin's live selling account in, here in Facebook. Like and follow. Um, mag-anniversary na rin yun, so may free mind doon, voucher. Wow, so, congrats! O, oh, ba? Tsaka, lastly, yung, ano, frozen products. Um, because I... Na! Sausage! 
I'm really busy. Si Pam din yung pinag-manage ko muna ng sausages. So that's the reason why I do TikToks before. Because of that sausage. <laughs> Pero ayun, nag-gain naman siya ng maraming buyer. So ayun. Kaya guys, there's always a way for you to um, earn. But when it comes to your um, mental health, emotional, and all that, Ayun, teaching yung nagbigay sa akin. And for you guys, if it's learning, then go ahead. Learn from everything, every aspect. So that's it. Thank you guys for this opportunity. <laughs> Thank you, Ahmed and um, you, Hans. Hans kasi yung tawag ko sa kanya, sorry. And then team and Chris. Thank you for thinking about me and Irish when it comes to this guest thing and podcast. So good luck to your um, future podcast. Thank you so much, Miss Pat, and thank you so much, Miss Irish. Ahmed, I'll throw it to you. Thank you, Tito. Um, next, Sir Tim, any shoutouts po, family? Tulad nga nasasabi doon po rin ito, importante family. Yeah. Uh, shout out to my MTs, Miss J, Sir, uh, Sir Tony, Miss M. Uh, thank you. Um, what else? Wala akong business. <laughs> uh, ayun, thank you for this opportunity and also yan yeah, nalalala ko na Miss M for the support for this podcast since the when since we pitched this to you and then to Sir Benji uh, if you will be watching this thank you sir for the opportunity again and for your approval I'm hoping that yung mga yung mga future uh, team namin for the podcast will be approved so there thank you so much yun lang thank you pa. Thank you, Sir Tim. Um, next po, Sir Chris. Any shout um, Bago ko mag-thank you sa mga nilista ko dito muna sa live chat natin, sa mga gumising na maaga, sa mga former students namin, um, Poch, Wiley, congratulations on your college life right now. Sana huwag niyo kayong makalimutan and uh, good luck always. All the best. Ano. Uh, Miss May Ann, yeah, uh, namimiss ka na namin. Miss Jay, thank you for joining us live. So here are the people that I would like to thank. First and foremost, I'd like to, de- to thank God Almighty for this life, for this free gift of salvation, and um, for all the blessings, maging um, financial man yan, physical or material blessings, and even yung mga problema namin sa buhay, which made us grow as a person. Um, napapasalamat po ako doon. Next to my family, my parents, mahal na mahal ko po kayo, alam niyo po yan. Patawad po kung nagiging makulit po ako mas madalas. Um, sa mga kapatid ko all over um, the Philippines, <laughs> no, all over NCR and uh, sa ate ko in Australia. Sa mga pamangking ko, hello. Um, BS Friday group, yung mga amiga po ng mami ko, thank you po sa lahat ng prayers nyo. Um, Galatians 2.20, Tito Cesar, Kuya Eli, kayo na yung next naming interview, handa kayo. Um, Sir Benj, Sir Tony, Miss M, Miss J. I don't know how to say how to say thank you po. Marami kayong naging influence sa amin. Sobrang tinitreasure ko po yun. Uh, every, alam niyo po yan na every time makakausap po po kayo, naiiyak na lang ako. To my BO9 family, um, lahat, former LFs, ang dami nyo, hindi ko kayo mabanggit lahat. Kahit yung mga... Dati ko na rin nakasama. Alam mo, ibig ko sabihin, Pat, when, when I'm saying this, um, shout out sa inyo. Sana masaya kayo. And salamat sa suporta ng mga nakasama pa namin ngayon. JP, hope the best for you and also with Elaine. Um, congratulations kay Janine. Sir Ayan, hello po. Um, and then next is sa mga guests namin today. Miss Irish, um, hindi tayo close, but grabe yung acceptance mo sa invitation. Na. That's why... Thank you is not enough. And I love you and Ken. Ken, I love you pare. Salamat. Pinagbigyan mo, jowa mo. And mag-spend ng time sa amin. Invis na kayong dalawa. Baby time na sana to. Baby Grabe na naman. To. Um, tita Joanna, thank you. Uh, nakikinig ka every time na, na may problema ako. And um, you know, na three kilometers away lang ang pagitan natin with each other. So maraming maraming salamat. Papaalala ko lang, sasama mo pa ako magpaputol ng pantalon. Okay. Ate Pam, hello po. And um, quick shout out, Jerica, Segolin, Benj, Marie, Gil- Gilia. I mean, congrats. Thank you for watching us. And last but not the least, to my partner, Papa Sir Tim, congratulations. First episode, live pa. Sino mag-aakala mag-YouTube tayo? Diba? We're just planning the, for the whole APEC community lang to. But... You know, God is a God of grace. God is a God of opportunities. Maraming, maraming, maraming salamat, Sir Tim. Alitin ko lang, ha. 
I need your maturity, Sir Tim. I need you on this. Thank you for all the support. Ahmed, Johan, maraming salamat sa inyo. Um, shout out ko na rin, Joel, na ngayon, hindi mo ko naririnig pa, thank you. Um, Mindy, Carlos, Luigi, Amiel, Joe, Juwon, maraming maraming salamat. Nagpapasalamat kami for accepting our offer. Maraming maraming salamat na sinagot nyo kami sa pan panliligaw namin sa inyo. Hindi namin mabubuto nang wala kayo. So, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Peace and love. Nama see you all. Hopefully very very soon. And again, peace. What's up? God bless. Magandang umaga ho sa ating lahat. Thank you po, Sir Chris. Again, um, to wrap this up po, thank you po to everyone. Thank you to the tech team. Thank you to the newsletter team. Thank you to Tito, thank you to Miss Iris, thank you to Miss Pat, Sir Chris, Sir Tim, lahat po. Thank you po sa inyo lahat. And of course, syempre po sa mga nanood, sa mga nagsusuporta po, sa mga nagstay tuned po sa live, maraming salamat po. And um, I guess my main uh, takeaway from this um, whole podcast is that um, a teacher will always be a teacher, even if you are not um, teaching right now. Or I guess in this case, an LF will always be an LF. What about you, Tito? Yan, yan, yan. Thank you. I would also like to thank uh, Miss Irish, Miss Pat, Sir Tim, Sir Chris, um, te the tech team, even the newsletter team, the whole of Amplify, um, everyone who made this possible. I'd also like to thank um, also the viewers and everyone who, who is supporting this um, Amplify. And I, my key takeaway is, yun nga, sabi ni Ahmed, um, everyone is actually a teacher. And then always take risks, do what you love, care for others, be mindful of yourselves. And then, of course, keep learning. Yan yon. Even though you're a teacher, so Ahmed, is this time? Is this time for us to uh, say goodbye? Yes, but for now only. Um. So with that said, this was such an amazing experience, everyone. But again, it's time for us to say goodbye just for now. I'm Ahmed Salemilescas, your pretty boy host, and goodbye. And I'm your friendly neighborhood caster, Johan Tito Hansoven, and this is Amplify the podcast. More inspirational content coming your way. Goodbye, guys. Thank you all so much.